The fuck's a basil seed? Watch, dude. Like, hold on. So I can hear the way this shit sounds out here. Oh, this motherfucker just felt like you got bird seed everywhere. Fuck. The bird seed, dude. We'll get into the bird seed right now. Shout out to Cindy for the bird seed. Yeah, I'm, bird you know seed. what? I'm going to say the chocolate was way better than the other one. Well, I mean, obviously, if it was fucking chocolate. Yeah, it's chocolate. Kind of hard to top chocolate. But watch, dude, just like <laughs> whoever. Okay, maybe you'll know what the fuck this sound was, okay? Okay, so watch. Shrip out on this fucking noise. And then the bass just kicks in. It's all. So, like, if you had a slamming ass system back in the day, dog, this, this was the shit to just come up, like, cruising down six, pumping the fuck out of this shit right here, dude. It's, 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 some, it's some fuck you like I don't even remember what year this came out But I'm telling you this was that shit what, what what was that noise bro Do you know what the fuck made Is that just like a key And then they fucking tweak the fuck out of it Or something like that How would you make that You have to find that sound Yeah Well with the filter What, what do you use to produce I use FL Studio for loops For Mac you can Get that mic and just rock that shit bro Like an MC you don't rock that shit. I'm not an MC, though. Well, well can you hear yourself out. better when you get You're familiar to with the recording process. I am, very so. much so. Yeah! Like, you need to hear yourself loud in these mics. Like, yeah. in my headphones, I mean. I hear myself can't. pretty good. Okay, good, yeah? good, good. Okay. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Order up. Order up. This is a certified hood classic. <laughs> Episode 49, Hood Diner Podcast. I am the homie casual. I'm DJ Century. And today, in the building, we got the homie, the homie, Mr. 808. Hi, guys. It's been a minute, dog. Um, Dude, no, he's because he's he's been reaching out ever since like the first season. He's like, yeah. we gonna bring me on the podcast. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. This is this is only my second podcast ever that I've worked with. Well, well, yeah. Well, th- I would say this is my first podcast actually because I uh, ran science and things. I don't think that was really. I mean, it kind of was. I just wish they would have kept going with it. Yeah, dude. I wish they would have really kept that going. I remember when him and Johnny Red were doing the ones at that Chinese food place. I wanted to go to that motherfucker. I was like, I was like, damn, I got that. Because they they were doing it at the fucking Chinese food place that I love, dog. It's like right there. It was on 22nd. It got a battery. Oh, it wasn't Bamboo Terrace? No, it wasn't Bamboo Terrace. This is a little buffet spot. Then I don't fuck They have a tiny ass buffet. But they have a really big ass fucking seating section, and like yeah. I guess they were able to like get a little spot in the See, back. See, I'm not shit that adventurous when it comes to Chinese food and shit. Oh man, because like a bad E. coli everywhere I go, you down a couple days. You know, everywhere I go, it's compared to everywhere bamboo I go it's compared to bamboo terrace for sure, so for sure. Oh, what's that all about? What you got right there? there, buddy? Oh, hello. <coughs> <coughs> the homie came with some. <coughs> What you got there? It's a uh, forbidden fruit. Is it Carter? Ash Sherman Williams? I'm doing the whole. <laughs> that guy. I'm yeah. That guy. I'm that guy. You just don't have a fucking button? Yeah, you just rip it. There's a little light on the bottom. Rip it and skip it. It'll start flashing. It's like, all right. It's all you're good. Yeah. That's enough, Playboy. <laughs> That's enough, big fella. Did you ever get, like, enticed to purchase things when you're really, like, schmacked? Yeah. This was an impulse buy off that wish on Instagram. Was it? Yeah. <laughs> I was like scrolling, scrolling, and I see it. I thought it was way bigger. Yeah, it looks so much bigger in the than picture. it is, but it, it serves its purpose. <laughs> you know, you know? The, dope, yeah, it, the dope shit about it is is it fits perfect. You don't have to like set, we don't even use it to set the time. Like when he plugs it in, it just starts counting up. So really? it lets us know how long the podcast is going and shit. You know what I'm saying? Dope. So, how much was that guy? <laughs> Like, like 12, 12 bucks, bucks 12 bucks something like Really okay Like 13 ships Some that. shit like that Yeah that's okay But it's it's. I want, I want a way to Hide this shit But Just put it behind your phone Yeah put it behind yeah. the phone And shit And then remember We're gonna like When we put the brick 
wall facade thing. You know. We're gonna put the brick wall shit. Why didn't I think of that? <laughs> <laughs> you just fucking look so much so better boom, already. Yeah. yeah fucking mm. upgrades. Yeah, we got one. some. We got some ideas. We but. got the ones we're gonna we're gonna put that brick wall shit behind it right there. So with everything that's up there, we'll be able to cut a hole and maybe run the wire behind it and shit like that. Because it's a thin brick wall type. It's thing a where. thin brick. <laughs> that's gonna it's hit fine. your face. <laughs> but yeah, man. Uh, before we go any further, dog, we gotta stop for some sponsorship recognition, bro. Uh, we gotta give a shout out to the homies at Dude Wipes. Dudeproducts.com. I got you some dude wipes. Dog. I got a couple. I got a I couple of them little samples to get and shit. To you know what I'm home. saying? Hell yeah, man! I, I've been putting them on to everybody that comes through. Yeah. For uh, you know, for for all your local or for your, all your wipe needs, go to dudeproducts.com. Use code hood H O O D and you'll get fifteen percent off your entire purchase. Uh, what was it? Hashtag no mud butt. Hashtag no mud butt. You know what I'm saying? Keep it clean. I got a clean. mouthful of chocolate right now. Yeah, we'll get into something new right now. Uh, Official Clothing, the other sponsor, we got to give a shout out to them. Uh, Use code HOOD for 25% off, and uh, you get free shipping over if your order's over $50. I'm all fucking fumbling shit, whatever that was. What was that shit you just gave me right now? Some forbidden fruit. Forbidden fruit. Had me bumbling bumbling my words. Bumbling, (laughs) stumbling. (laughs) (laughs) Had me bumbling my words. Uh, Code HOOD. 25% 25% off at official clothing. That's O H F I S H L. You ever get one of them shit? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> You're right. That's O H F I S H L. Swallow it. O H F I S H L dot com. Official. Official.com, baby. Uh, so, yeah, man. Um, also, got to give a, a shout out to the Inner Circle. Uh, those are the homies from the, the from the podcast network, HT Nas, Sam PC, Shit Happens When You Party Naked, The Plunge. And we just added the homies, Any Pod Will Do. Shout out to them. They are the sixth man. He has such a, like, velvety voice. It's just, like, soft and lulls you to sleep. Right? It's pretty, hey, I mean, but he's, he's he's a professional motherfucker. You know bro. what, I give, though? I give, him, I, I, give him, I, um, I give him much love, dog. For real. I, uh, I fucking resonate with what he had said. He, I was listening to the podcast today, and he was like, I fucking was at my neighbor's house drinking and shit, and I don't know what the hell got into me. He goes, I just went and got home. You got rolled a shit. joint. He's I was rolling a joint, and they're like, "What are you doing over there? Rolling a joint?" He says, He's all for who? He's all for him. He's like, he, he don't, don't smoke. smoke. Yeah. Oh well, I guess it's for me then. <laughs> smoke weed every day. And then <laughs> another part of it was like, oh well, fuck. I was in the room. I was in the bedroom, and it fucking reeked. And then I look, I open my drawer. He's like, my joints in there. <laughs> Yeah, man. Shout out to the homie Joe B, man. Uh, follow us at Inner Circle PN on Instagram and Facebook. And the uh, Inner Circle website will be going up very soon. I am working on that shit, so that will be up real soon. Yeah. But uh, yeah, man. Back to the homie. Those are cool hey, dudes, though. Like, they, they are. They, they, they are. Uh, they definitely are, dude. They got like I said, I'm so trying we, to get more active in the whole cross yeah. promotion and all that shit. But like. You know, yeah, we got a we got a little we got a little circle of homies and shit. I know you have to have seen yeah, like they be whole, pushing they be pushing yeah. this shit, bro. I'm telling you, dude, some the homies it. from Tampa, the homies from New Jersey and shit, bro. They show love, dog. You know, walking what I'm saying? over here. They don't worry. They don't worry about the politics. We're walking over We're here. We're walking here. Yeah, dude. <laughs> dude, uh, fucking, uh, I, I got to see if I could even do it, man. He was say he said some funny shit. The homie said that he was getting on his lady's nerves because he was doing this shit called Bane Cup. Okay? He was getting a cup and then he he would he would talk into it like this and he sounded like Bane. And he would you know. <laughs> but dude, he went on for like fucking like like five minutes, bro, on some Bane Cup shit. Dude had me fucking rolling. Yeah, I was bro. fucking dying laughing, man. So shout out to uh Adam Simmons, Simmons and More Podcast. I, I, I those motherfuckers, they're dope, dude. Uh, make sure you guys check them out, man. Inner Circle. Uh, so, yeah, man. The homie fucking 808 is in the building, okay? Um, huh. w- this has been meaning so to how, go how down do you know him? Minute. 808, uh, I met 808 through the scene, bro. Through okay. through through, uh, through the hip-hop scene, bro. the streets, politicking? Pretty much, dog. Like, at the time that I was going to Pima and I was doing class and, and I came up with the 520 Magazine shit, uh, I started going to a lot of the shows so that I could get photos, just start meeting people, just started getting into the scene and shit. Plus, like I said, I mean, I knew a lot of the people, too. 
uh, from when I was doing my rap, my rapidy rap days and shit. You know, what I'm I saying? was going through my stuff and I found your CD. <clears throat> Did you really casual talk? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, hey, it, yeah, I mean, I, I had it. I, I dropped it. It was dope. It was a fun time, dog. It's I remember. I remember promoting. I remember doing those songs like at fucking vaudeville and shit, dude. Like oh, you performed at vaudeville, bro, oh, I dude. Really I performed those like at vaudeville. This. I performed them at DV8. You know what I'm saying? You know what's crazy? I miss vaudeville so much. That was like like my golden era of going out. Yeah, I miss those days. Vaudeville, too. Friday, Fridays Sharks. was the shit. I, you know, I don't really go to Sharks a lot. No, nah, Sharks no. was okay. Sharks was dope. Sharks was dope. And then at, during the during the time that I met 808, Delectables was always popping. Like yeah. fucking, like we had fucking weeks straight at Delectables. Like for a couple summers, man, it was fun there, dog. Yeah. And then, uh, then I think from there it kind of moved to Heads, and you know it's kind of been yeah. there. And, and, heads. and obviously, um, Congress and you know Rialto. Catcher, Congress is happening. Always shit. cracking. Well, Flight yeah. Catcher's dead, bro. I mean, yeah, Flycatcher. Well, yeah, when it was when it was popping though, now. actually, well, it's damn. So it's not even there no more. No, yeah, I need. To They're tearing that shit down. Again. Are they really? Damn. They're gonna make apartments and shit. Oh man, but uh, but yeah, that's how that's how I met 808, dude. But just through the scene and shit like that, I met Jock. I met Johnny Red. I met 808. And uh, yeah, the, um, as I mentioned with Jocka, he I put them on the second cover of the magazine that I was doing. They were on episode, yeah. the the second uh, the second cover, <clears throat> and that was fun, bro. Like we went, we met up, we went, uh, they, we, you know, we took some photos and shit like that, and then fucking uh, we uh, just put together like a little fucking article and shit. That shit was fun, man. We actually dope. got those uh, those shirts and shit that day at Goodwill, maybe like an hour before we met you. Oh no, shit. Yeah, we just like oh shit. We don't have nothing to wear for this shit. But yeah, man. And then yeah, dude, from there it was just, you know, it's always seeing each other each other on the scene and shit, you know what I'm saying? Kept in touch through social media. Cause uh, you know, for everybody that doesn't know 808, he moved from Tucson to Phoenix. Yeah. Did you move specifically to go to school up there? Yes, I did. You went to the, the conservatory, right? Yes, sir. Is that what it was? Of recording arts and science. And you are are you already done with that? Did you graduate already? Uh, I'm in my internship right now. Okay. But I'm about to be done with that. Within like a couple of weeks. So. Okay. Are you going to stay up there or are you going to move back? Uh, yeah, I'm going to stay up there, bro. No shit. Yeah. That was one of my questions, man. Like, how, how have you liked it since you moved up to Phoenix? Uh, I'm I'm doing it, bro. I'm, I'm fucking living. It's not like LA or no goofy shit, but I'm actually running into a lot of people from California going to Phoenix and shit. No but, shit? Um, yeah. I guess a lot of shit in Cali is happening to where rent is doubling in some areas and shit. Oh, yeah. Yeah, fucking so, Cali's expensive as fuck. Way man. too fucking expensive. But I mean, there was forty thousand people that came to uh, Arizona from California last year. Last year, yeah. Oh, and that number's just been going up throughout oh, the years. Sure. So, so many yeah, people bro. I know from last why year. Why you? Why would you work like a fucking madman and then have to not be able to enjoy what you're working for? You just come. You come east. You go to Arizona. You know. Right. And they're stayed over, and you have a palace for what you paid for. Maybe right. a fraction of the cost. A stayed over, literally. You know? Yeah. Right. You find a job that pays something similar, <clears throat> you're making a grip over there. So if you can transfer that over to Arizona, right. forget and it's about funny it. how you're fucking comfy. Yeah. It's funny how everybody from here loves Cali, though, like for their fucking vacation yeah, and shit. That, like, that's why I told somebody the other day. Yeah, that is I nice mean, over there. I, I didn't go broke when I went on that bachelor party, but I spent some good money, too. Yeah. You know? Oh yeah! yeah oh, dude, I'm telling you, yeah, when we went to Huntington, bro. That was, pff, and I was only gone three days. Over there. You know, I was like, God, stop spending money. It was like the Scottsdale where we were at and shit, dude. I was like, at my shit. account when I got back, I was like, God damn, <laughs> God, God damn, God damn. I love that fucking damn. fucking noob noob. Speaking of which, bro, I'm so excited. We didn't get to talk about that last week, but they finally announced uh, season yeah, four for season Rick four, and Morty. Rick, right? You big uh, Rick and Morty fan? November, right? Yeah, yeah, November. They didn't give an exact got, date. I but, got Scary Terry up there. But they are doing... Uh, he's all, oh, bitch. <laughs> See, yeah, I, fucking, I fuck with Rick and Morty, but I'm not... Like, like Jocka is a way bigger Rick oh, and Morty Oh, he's a fanatic, bro. He loves it. Yeah, he fucks with it heavy. I kind of just got into Rick and Morty. So, but I fucking... I can't remember which episode it is, but it's fucking... Um, I can't remember who it is, but I guess it's like a little commercial. Uh, little Bits... Mm-hmm. Like <laughs> don't eat my little the, bits <laughs> don't eat my little bits and then he fucking the dad fucking eats him at the end and he comes in and shit hey you're my little bits and shit dude yes dude dude when that's he walks uh, into the dude in the bathroom that's, he sold little bits for a while what is that one called intergalactic cable 
Sounds and they've done like one. I each got a court season, order. You can't eat shit anymore. <laughs> He's eating a bowl of shit. And he looks at the camera all. Huh? Oh my god, that's the funniest moment in cartoons I've ever seen in my what life. Saying, a little bit dude, all them shits are good though, dude. He's like, uh, He's like whoa, who's eat in my some personal shit, space? You stupid bitch. <laughs> or some, or some shit. <laughs> Do you remember Syphil and Ollie? From he MTV? said everything's little. Everything's little. Do you remember Syphil and Ollie from MTV? They were the sock puppets. Ah, oh, damn. That sounds it sounds familiar, familiar as fuck. I don't really remember though. I used to watch that shit religiously <clears throat> too, man. Damn. Yeah, when when did that come on? Like early, early dog. Early. That's the guy Liam Lynch. This is my United States of whatever. Oh, okay. That's, that was his, that was his shit? shit. Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. Weird. Was like, that like it's was on that, YouTube? Was that pre or post celebrity death match? Uh, maybe we during. Okay, our same, same time. That era, yes. Okay, like, right right after Eon Flux, right after oh, Bud Eon Oh, yeah. Eon no, Flux I used was... to stay up. Little yeah, Latino. that's a. He had little kid off. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> like, they got to oh, show yeah, some titty cartoon tonight. Titty. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah. just prayed for that side boob oh, shot on man. that shit up. And she had skimpy shit. That's why. And it's just like. <laughs> fucking Daria. They'd show her with Daria was funny, bro. But that was a good spinoff. Yeah. Did you ever watch High School High? High School High, the movie? No, 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 no. Um, Clone High. I don't think I've seen that. No, it was one season on MTV. It was a daytime uh, cartoon, and it was all clones of like JFK. Yeah, um, nah. Ma- <laughs> I heard Mama about Gandhi. that. I heard about that. No, I haven't seen that. Was kind of recent, good. right? No, 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 no. no. It, was it wasn't recent. Ago. It was a while ago. I wish they would revamp that on like Cartoon Network. Because I had swim. just heard about that, and I was like, "Damn, that, was probably, that sounds fucking hilarious, bro." Yeah, it was. Well, good. It was clones of everybody, right? And they were all like forced to live together. or No, something. they were in high school. Oh, they were in high school. Yeah, but they all went to school together. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay, yeah. all right, I gotcha. It was it was dope. That's some good well, shit. I'm a big man. animation fan, so I'm happy to see Rick and Morty come back. Yeah, yeah. Well, speaking of that, dude, um, <clears throat> they just announced uh, also uh, releasing in um, in September Disenchantment season two. All right, no, Disenchantment that's what's gonna drop. Yeah, that's gonna be okay. it's gonna be in September. That's dog. the Netflix show, right? Yeah, the one with uh, by Matt Matt Growing. I think the the, okay. the Simpsons. And, um, I think Abby from uh, Broad City plays the 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 girl. Yeah, the main yeah, little girl. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, dude, Same fucking shit. yeah. Really? That one, that one was pretty funny too. I thought it was pretty good. Which is the one uh, with the horny monsters? Oh, oh, um, oh what is that? <laughs> um, oh, with Big Mouth, I think. Big, yeah, Mouth. Big Mouth. There you go. Yeah, yeah. that one did. I did they drop a second season? It did, yeah, right? I, I think they're think in I, the third. I don't think I've watched the second season. I'm behind. I gotta watch that. That's a funny show. I gotta watch that. You know what I was gonna it ask? Pushes that. the boundary sometimes. I feel like because you don't you don't watch The Office, huh? I I've, I've seen it before. You've like, seen it the first two seasons. That's yeah, my dude. Fucking shit. I fucking love that shit. And you know what? I was just reading today is like it's gonna be off Netflix in like a like a couple yeah, years bro. or something it's like. It's gonna that. go back to NBC <laughs> streaming service. I just need to, yeah. I just need to fucking it's not like, a couple buy, years. I need to buy like all the fucking DVDs yeah, and just have them. I don't know why I don't have. I think them. See, I'm, I, I'm a to, Blu-ray slut. Like I, mean, I have to have it in 4K. Yeah. Well, I mean, I get okay. it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Well, I spend a lot of money on my fucking TV, so I have to. You know? How big is your TV? I got a 65. Okay, all right. it's not it's crazy big, yeah, but, but it, it's the big. room that it's in. Okay, it's I can't really go bigger than that because it'd be like right. literally you're like, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, people that can't see me, I was literally nose to to wall right now. That's how close it would be. I want an eighty two inch. That's the next. <laughs> that's yeah, you know, anything bigger, but I do want a bigger. <laughs> I, I I guess I'd have to because I mounted it to the brick. You don't want to just get a projector. No. Yeah. Yeah. No. You can't do that. Shit. You can't do that because no, no, he does. Get a nice he has one. like a. It's kind of like above like a fireplace, right? In the yeah. Of a fireplace. Oh, okay. It's one of those situations where like it's it's up there. You know what I'm saying? But it looks good, right? I where can it's Yeah. I can only go seventy on mine. In your room? We, no. We'll, oh, we'll, your stand. In our, our. Yeah. We got one of those big ass IKEA fucking things that only has so much Might space. Have to in the go bigger, bro. Get a new stand. Just get it so that it sticks out further than the fucking mount the furniture. Motherfucker. <laughs> no, I just mount the motherfucker. No, I'm just gonna have it so that it's always extended like two feet away from the wall. <laughs> we'll be able to reach all the fucking HDMI cords, yeah. no problem. <laughs> you know what I mean? I um. Oh, is that me? Oh, swear no, no, jar. Okay, no, 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 that's him. That's oh, him. That's okay. all good. That's all good. Guy. I was hoping. I was hoping guy. because this dude, yeah. Every time I fuck up, we got to put like a dollar in the swear jar. And like shit, that bust his bulls up. over here. Yeah. Anyways, um. So uh, okay, 
um, Rick and Morty. Uh, I, movie. I heard Kanye was getting his own episode. Or you see, he, yes, true? and they were talking to fucking Daniel Radcliffe too, dude. Like he might Harry become Potter? a yeah, he might become a permanent voice on there. Wow, because they were talking to him and like he was like, yeah, man, like they, we heard they heard that you're a, a a really big fan of the show. They would like to talk to you and shit like that. And fucking Harry Potter was like, oh yes, very interested. You know, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah no, see, fucking Kanye named his kid Psalm. Yeah, that's kind of lame. I don't even. I don't so even know how celebrities, about that, but is it spelled like the know. fucking? Yeah, P S P S L M. So what are they? There's North, Psalm, Psalm, and then there's the uh, another boy. There's a little boy, right? I don't remember. Mordecai and Rigby. <laughs> Mordecai <and> Rigby. <laughs> Chip and Dale. No, nah, I don't know. I mean, that's your kid. You're free to name whatever. But it's regular like, show. I was like, it's like Mordecai and Rigby. Where the fuck is that from? It's our regular show. That's right. <laughs> True. Rigby. Muscle Man, one of the greatest <laughs> characters too. Dude, so um, so speaking of speaking of some music, yeah, dude, I heard, yeah, I heard Kanye is gonna probably get his own. Uh, Did you see that's that crazy. fucking billionaire? What billionaire? That billionaire. His name's uh, Robert Smith. Is it the dude that's paying for um, what is it? The college? It's the, like forty million dollars of debt he paid off for. Yeah, yeah for for like four hundred people. But it was a part- what part? What co- what college? More, was I think it? Morehouse. Was it Morehouse? Was it Morehouse? I think Morehouse. Yeah. That's dope, dude. Fuck yeah. I mean, how big of a gift? Is that considering like you're? It reminds, it reminds me of what is it? Michael's tots. Yeah, Mike, Scott's, it, Michael, tots, in Scott's real life. tots. Yeah. <laughs> like, bro, that. Hold that, on, hold on, hold on. They're lithium. <laughs> like I can give you an extra office. battery, but don't tell nobody. <laughs> is that from Office? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's an Office thing. I see. I haven't, I haven't. I haven't indulged that yet. I'm gonna have to since they're gonna be taking it off. But. See, see, there's not like I. I get people who don't like the Office. But I feel like there's a lot more people that do like it. Right. It's a, it's a raw, funny ass humor, bro. And it just kept getting better, dude. It just kept getting better throughout the years. Like people hey, say, the me, British one's to better. To me, to me, that see, I've never I, seen that. Hell no. I've, I, 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 I wouldn't be able to follow so, as much. Bro. No, but you know what? I get that. Maybe, maybe humor, if I was though. British or some like shit, Snatch, it might be. You know all that shit. Yeah, Lock, smoking Snatch. barrels. Yeah, I oh, fuck God. with those movies. You know what I'm saying? They're dope. They're dope. Yeah, but but those are different. Well, you're talking Guy Ritchie though. Boondock Saints. Yeah, that's the Boondock Saints was fire. That was Guy Ritchie, right? Yeah, Snatch? and that was what's his name? Uh, fucking dude from Walking Dead with the crossbow, Daryl. Oh, yeah, yeah, he was yeah, one of the yeah, brothers yeah. and shit. That's right. Yeah. See, I didn't even. I saw him in Walking Dead before I even knew that. Is his name Norman his Reedus? Fucking, yeah, yeah, Norman Reedus. There you go. Yeah. Before I even knew he was in Boondock Saints. Yeah. Someone was like, "Oh, that's from Boondock Saints." Like, I've never even seen that fucking movie. So, <clears throat> okay, like, yeah. So he paid that fucking debt, forty million dollars for four hundred people. Jay, shout out to him. That's, man, a, that's like a, a blessing beyond Bro. words because you think about it, you hit the ground running. Now you don't have to pay back debt. Now you can accumulate money and reinvest in your fucking community. Right. You're straight. That's what he he probably is preaching to him, right? Right. I would fucking hope so. So, I mean, that's dope. Yeah, that's when you hear so dope. much bad shit, somebody, like, that's a, like a breath of fresh school. air. <clears throat> Dude, you, so. You know that. I'm sorry to interrupt you. Oh, no. You're good. You're good. The fucking sponsors, uh, one of the shows, Dude Wipes. Mm-hmm. Well, someone caught Alex Rodriguez taking a shit. Oh, the picture I heard yeah, about you that. See yeah. that. How fucking sad, man. So like no privacy. You're taking a shit. a shit. Well, the only angle you could have got him taking a shit was across the way from a hedge fund. It was fund. like some firm, right? Yeah, like a hedge fund manager's office. So And was, what you think none of them managers don't got a fucking Nikon with a three hundred like, fucking <laughs> lens and shit, dude? They're like double take a picture of Alex fucking Rodriguez taking a shit. You ever heard the term pump and dump? <laughs> No, <laughs> you're taking a shit and you knock out a knuckle child real quick. Wow, he said knuckle damn. child. Damn. Fuck, that was some Peter Griffin shit, bro. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! So that's a pump and dump. Can you imagine if fucking Alex Rodriguez was watching? If some he nasty would have whacked shit, one out, bro, real quick. Yeah, dude. It would have been even worse if it was like a fucking like a magazine where they could have actually seen what it was he was whacking it to, and it was like anybody else but his lady and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, wow. She's a bad one still. Oh, fuck yeah, dude. To this day. Without, without a doubt, bro. To this day. <laughs> to this day. <laughs> you see that fool knock that dude out? Bro, that shit was so quick. You, you familiar with I that? I would have been pissed Ooh, what's if homie's I paid name? 60 bucks for that. Bro, I didn't even. I'm, I'm fucking. So oh, okay. Yeah, I know sports. what you're talking about. The knockout for the, that fight the other day. Yes, I saw that, dude. Holy shit, dude. He could lights out that motherfucker, bro. Yeah. I showed it to my lady and shit, too. She was like, oh, shit. Let me see that again. Yeah, see poor guy. That all his knockouts are like that. Poor fucking It's not just dude. one or two. Like all of them are, are that violent. What is it? What what was that? Was that a was that a UFC fight or was that a boxing match? It was a boxing match. 
you would think how he right Don, Deontay, Wilder. Deontay Wilder Deontay Wilder he fucking connected bro it was yeah. like it couldn't have been any more beautiful. And it, he looks so confident going in for it, yeah. too. Not like not like he, like, seized an opportunity. It's like he knew. He's like, all right, right here, I'm going to connect right now. Right. I'm going to end this shit right it the fuck now. It was in the first round, too. Yeah, it was like See, a minute, thing, a minute like, and a half in. A I minute and a half in. So I go to a boxing match, and it ends in 90 seconds. Those were the Tyson oh, days, bro. Yeah. The people that paid <clears> for Tyson <throat> fights and shit like that, and they were over in the first round. <laughs> You know what's crazy? That's he's been coming out on a lot of podcasts lately. He just yeah. started his own. Dude, he's got his own ranch going right now, yeah. bro. His own strains of weed coming out, dude. He's Tyson's like an advocate now, bro. Fucking for real. Well, he says he'd turn into a maniac if he didn't have weed. I believe it. Yeah, me too. Good for him, bro. Good for him. Me it took him a while. Too. What if he would have been smoking post or pre-fucking Holyfield days? He probably would have still been boxing. Yeah, I mean, he didn't nah, he would have dropped dirty on that. Would have fucked up. That dude, went, yeah, he got fined three hundred thousand for smoking weed one time. Dude, yeah, really? and, and and those days he was young, bro. He yeah. was fucking young too. Young with so much fucking money, though. He said he didn't start doing cocaine until like oh five oh eight or some shit like that. Oh damn, yeah, that's so nice. like that's later in life. You know what I'm saying? Like that's after the fact, and he's picking that habit up. Yeah, that's just crazy. But yeah, man, that he's gonna have those uh those fucking farms where you can uh go stay there and go just smoke out and oh, shit like a resort like and shit. Yeah, like a resort, dude. That'd be fucking dope. How fucking sick is that, dude? Like, I want to do one of them. I want. I'm gonna wait till one of them opens up with the mushroom shit that does like mushrooms and weed at the same time over in Colorado. Yeah, now I was that it's just fucking, about to say that. You know what I'm saying? But somebody was they saying that it was just it wasn't it. like the entire state. It was just like Denver. Well, the counties, I think. the counties can t- decide whether they want to have legal oh, really? weed. Like yeah. say Pima County, for example. Right. If it went recreational and it went to counties registering it themselves, it would be a local vote. If it would be recreational. God, dude, it's like. It, it, do you think it's finally going to be this next year that it finally goes? Through? I hope so. I what honestly hope so. You think it's finally going to go through? And then in twenty twenty one, it would be um, regulated for purchase for recreational. Mm. It sucks having to pay the taxes because I went last last week to uh, San Diego. I brought some shit home. Right. And uh, I ended up spending like fucking 80 some dollars for a fucking quarter. But it was the strongest shit they had there. That's not. Well, that's that's really not that bad. No, no, really, no. Especially, especially for some farm shit. So I, I got a I got a quarter and four pre-rolls for like a buck 20. OK, that's not bad. It was decent. You know what I'm yeah. saying? But the high quality shit. That shit was like knockout punch shit. Yeah. See, top. Yeah. 31 percent. Okay, yeah, see, you know that, was cheap. that was really fucking good then. That was yeah. a really great price. This yeah. bammer that I had. <laughs> right. No, <laughs> no yeah, it's because I got, I, got I got a good amount of yeah. it for, for, for the low, price. low. Right. You know? Speak, the low, low. Speaking of which, I see I see you rolling something up over there. What's what's going on over there? Oh, yeah, man. This is some um, some kosher kush from Ooh. Grow Sciences. Lachaim. Okay. So kosher kush, he said. Yeah. Lachaim. 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 So, okay. Oh, that smells lovely. So, yeah. for people that don't know, to, to, okay, this is this was one of my questions I had for you, bro. Yeah. If you could express your love for fucking weed with one word, what would it be? Sensational. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Yeah, the homie 808, he, he I mean, you, you, uh. It's no, it's no secret, and you have you you've been developing. I I remember you you told me about this a while ago, and you've been wanting to do like reviews, right? Like mm-hmm. when you would do reviews of different strains and shit, right? Yeah, for sure. So what is what is it going to be called? Eight oh eight eighth. You got it. Eight oh eight eighth. So what are you gonna how how are you gonna do it? Did you say you're gonna do like Instagram? Are you gonna do videos? Uh, how are you so gonna do it? I did have a couple of uh, posts on Instagram and shit. I actually been doing a couple posts for about. I've seen the post. I've seen the post, yeah. yeah Are I you kinda, linked up uh, with any uh, dispensaries? Um, I'm working on it at the moment. Yeah. When I was down here, uh, I was working with Bloom, reviewing some of their shit, because I had a guy who was in the dispensary, my buddy Tyler. He uh, he actually owns Buzz Smoke Shop now um, okay. downtown on uh, Pennington, I think. Right. I say. But, um, yeah, he was hooking me up and shit, and I reviewed some of their stuff and whatnot. But um, not at the moment, really. But yeah, I've been doing reviews for a minute. On my uh, personal page, I actually took them off to focus more on some music shit and my audio engineering. So you started a different uh, Instagram for it, right? Yeah, specifically. What just is for it? That. At 808 states? You got it. 
Okay. But for, for people that don't know how to spell the 808, because, oh, you know, man. they be doing just the numbers, the 808, but that's not how yeah. the homie 808 spells his name. You got to get it right. Yeah. I mean, I where tried the, the name come it. from? Uh, really, it just came from, I like the sound of 808s, the drums. The drum pattern. The, yeah. Yeah. And I started to use them a lot. And I was like, well, fuck it. Why not? And then I decided to spell it different because if you just do 808, you're going to get a whole bunch of other right, shit. Right, right. So I left the first eight, and then you just spell out everything else, O-H-E-I-G-H-T. And uh, yeah, it's original. I'm the only one if you Google some shit. So Nice. Yeah. Nice. Right that's up. a... We were talking, uh, our, that's what we talked about with uh, Shonuff when he came through, how he changed his name to, to just Dorian and shit. Yeah. He said it was Jerron uh, that kind of told him about this. He was like, dude, if you go to iTunes right now and you Google Shonuff, shitload yeah. of Shonuffs. He's like, now go Google just Dorian. And he was like, boom, you're the only one there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So exactly. sometimes the rebranding, that's what that dude Young Young Me said when he came in here. He was H-Rock. Okay, he was known yeah. as H-Rock. Remember H-Rock? I yeah. mean, that dude was fucking pumping for years out here. And then when he decided to go to, uh, you know, Asia, and he fucking blew up over there. He's been doing his things. And then we brought him in a couple podcasts ago, man. And he told us some – yeah, it was a good podcast. He told yeah. us a lot of cool shit. But uh, he said the same thing with him. Like, he young, he rebranded himself. But the, the young me – you know how like that fucking that that me just sounds like it's something that's Chinese, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. like, people thought when young me came out like that and then they saw that he was a black dude that they were like <laughs> They're probably confused as fuck. Like, what? And he was like, but it's been working to his advantage, bro. So I was like, dude, he said he's he said his son was the one that told him. He was like, Man, dad, you got whatever did you do, you gotta have like that young or that lil on it and shit. He's like, That's just the pump, that's just the wave right now. That's right. what his son told him. And you know what I mean? He's not, he's not lying. lying. You, know, you right. got all the mills wrong. and the youngs and all that shit out there. So, I mean, hey, you know, it works. I might have to be a rebrand as uh, Freaky Cheeky. There you go. Some Wi-Fi. No, I've I don't never seen no Freaky Cheeky. Here, dog. All right, that's yeah, fine. we got to get the Wi-Fi going. Yeah. That's like I said, bro. I don't I don't live at this residence. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we got the <laughs> Wi-Fi popping. It's, yeah. it's, it's just the diner. My other right. other crib. You know what I'm saying? But, um. Other, other buildings. But, uh, so where was I going with that shit? What the fuck was I just saying? That's that's what happens, bro. <laughs> See what happens. That shit is so crazy how you'll have a thought and it'll, it'll just, just leave, it'll just it'll just leave derailed, your head. Dog. Dog. It'll just I literally, literally forgot head. what I was saying a couple name. seconds. I, I asked him where he got the name about. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm, I mean, I know yeah. that, but I was just like, yeah. Oh, so, okay. So, basically, you... uh you the name. Young me. And, yeah, 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 the names and shit like that. But, yeah. But, I mean, the names, you know, having a unique name, dog. You know what I'm saying? That's why I'm re- thinking fuck- about rebranding to Freaky Cheeky because my nickname is Cheeky. Yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? That's how I know you. Cheeky. Yeah. That's that's, that's the name that's like, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Fucking uh, small back ass in the day, world I remember, shit. bro, Jerris had I don't know. I he got it from one of you motherfuckers. It was some dope ass Mario shit that, yeah, you that made was for him. That was me. Yeah, bro. It was so fucking hard. Did and I knew I could Mario? never Mario? find it anywhere oh, because yeah, there was some custom shit. shit. Yeah, exactly. Man, this you motherfucker know. loves Mario. Yeah, Mario's dope. Yeah, see, that's just hard. <laughs> that's dope. <laughs> Fuck you yeah. Color that in. Oh yeah, I just I got. I have a kid now. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so it's yeah. kind of hard to, to like slow it up. Yeah, I, I definitely know slowed you everything down. How old's your kid? Huh? How old's your kid? She's gonna be six this year. Oh okay, yeah, she's a little baby yeah. still. She's gonna okay, graduate. She's gonna starting to school, yeah. Kindergarten next year, yeah. yeah. So, she missed she the cutoff, so she's gonna be a little older. Okay, where's she? Which works? She goes to the Lehman Academy. When's her birthday? September or something? Sept- October 25th. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I think it's like, what's the cutoff? Like August or some shit? Yeah, it's August. Yeah. It's a trip because the school starts in July now. R- uh, like what, TUSD? TUSD? Yeah. Really? What? St- starting this coming year? Or? No, like, like the last week of July. They, they've they been doing it for a while. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. Damn, that's wild. Right? Yeah, okay, shit. so back to 808s. Yeah. So basically, um, so break it down, like basically break it down, like what, what the 808s is going to be all about. So basically what it is, is just, uh, really it's educational purposes for the most part for, uh, patients and whatnot, just so you know what you're getting, what to look for and shit when you step in dispensaries, so you're not spending your money, wasting your shit, whatnot. Fuck yeah. So, yep. That's pretty much it for the most part. I mean, I love weed. People love weed. And, um, yeah, man, these reviews, I mean, a lot of people like them and I play fucking some of my beats in the background of them and shit. There so you go. That's like a double. Right. 
So yeah, that shit works out, man. I stopped doing them for a little while to focus more on music and uh, school and shit because it was taking a lot. But um, yeah, I'm gonna get back on it. I'm gonna have a new review coming in June too. So fuck yeah. Yeah. I'm about to like so are stuff. we gonna are we gonna do a little bit of a review right now? We are. We're gonna just do a live review. You guys are gonna review this with me and shit. So, fuck yeah. Yep. We're about to smoke this in this Dutch Master and get real kosher. Fuck mm-hmm. yeah. So what's what's the what's the name of the strain again? We're so about? this is uh, Kosher Kush. Kosher Kush. Grown by Grow Sciences. Hmm. Pretty cool guys. So is that an indoor grow? Ah uh, yes, it is. This is an indoor grow. It's an indica hybrid. I, I prefer prefer indoor for sure. Yeah, for sure. Like uh, I know a lot of people like that earthy taste. I don't. It's not where it's at. I like mm-hmm. when you you like you get a Windex bottle and you just like right. the tongue. <laughs> That's the taste I like. You know. I need that. Yeah. Right, exactly. You're you know, exactly. if you're a connoisseur, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like it's just it's a particular taste, yeah. and I feel bad giving you that bammer to open up with, but. Like I said, bro, that's like I mean, it's like, a, it's like an appetizer. Yeah, you know? it, it did its job. Like, that's the thing I tell people. I'm like, hey, it might not be pretty. might not taste great. But it gets the job done, you know? Are you looking for this? I think I had it over here. Yes. Ooh. I was about to steal another lighter. <clears throat> Is that one mine? Infamous. So The infamous yeah, lighter jacker. So uh, how I break my reviews down, really, in a couple different categories. The smell... The look, the high, and medical benefits, for the most part. Fuck yeah. But, um... Hmm. So when you say medical benefits, are you talking about, like, uh, like pain relief? Yeah, pain relief, uh, fatigue, appetite loss. Like, if you have trouble eating and shit, it's, it's perfect for appetite, shit like that. Insomnia. Are you an indica or sativa pain. guy? Uh, I like indicas mostly because... They're they're really usually heavier, yeah, and I fit, and it makes me feel more like okay, I'm fucking high. But a sativa sativas are cool. I've had some pretty good sativas. You know, until <clears throat> Kaz pointed out that sativas are really good for like vacations. Yeah, I didn't really take that into account. And when I went to San Diego this last time, I hit that first one, which was Wi-Fi cake, which is a thirty-one nice. percent, and I was fucking wrecked all day. <laughs> Like, that's a, uh, yeah, that's an indica hybrid, I think. Oh, well, it's an indica, but if it's a hybrid, that's cool. But, like, I'm just saying, like, that should knock me on my ass. But the other one I had was Acapulco Gold. Okay, mm-hmm. I've had Sativa, that 15%. Mm-hmm. Yep. It was a pre rolled, and I was able to function perfectly off that shit. Bro, I'm telling you, man. I mean, dude, that's why, that's why like, you know, since my lady like got her zombie, shit, we though. get to pick, like, what the fuck we want. Yeah. And we're all about having the sativas for the daytime and the indicas for the nighttime. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right before we chill and start to watch some fucking Game of Thrones or whatever the fuck we're watching, bro, we'll smoke that fucking indica real quick. That's why I like dispensaries, bro. You get, like, an option. You get exactly what you want. Like, yeah. I love my drug dealers, you know what I mean? But at the same time, most of the time, they don't even know what the fuck they're selling you. <laughs> like, what is this? It's weed. From Cali. Yeah, right. right. Exactly. It's just loud. It's gas. All right. Is this indica or sativa? I don't know. All right. That's what remember. I, I used to always <laughs> ask him too. Like when we'd come in, I'm like, dude, it's it's part of the fucking gig, bro. It's part of the fucking like the name. I mean, we kind of got away from it, but most of the time, it's usually like the guest and the name of whatever the fuck we smoked that day. So you right. rolled you know up. A duck, so this right? would be like 808 and Kosher Kush. That might be the title. Yeah, unless that is something, be the title. Unless something yeah. better comes along. You know what I'm saying? So, so you you rolled up a, a Dutch. Yeah, a Dutch master. Do you know, do you fuck with, um, what the fuck are they called? Frontos? No. Um, backwoods. Backwoods. Backwoods, not not really. They're they're kind of too much for me. Harsh? Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, backwoods are harsh as fuck. Yeah, like earlier That today, tobacco wrap is something else. Huh? Yeah. Like uh, my buddy Tyler, he actually... He's probably the only person I've seen do this. He actually wets Washes his them? Yeah. 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 He washes that. them shits first. I've seen it. And then when I seen him do that shit, and then he like uses a paper towel and damps it, and you look at the paper towel, so much fucking shit on there. So I'm like, damn, they're 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 too fucking strong for me. That's do you remember the name touches. of those? Do you remember the name of those wraps used to come in a square pack like this, and they were like flat, but they were like dipped in like fucking cognac and shit like that. Yeah. Do you remember those blunt wraps? Yeah. They were blunt wraps, but they were flat. Like right, and they right, came right. like they little came pancakes flat, yeah. and shit. They, but were, they sealed, were like leaves. individual sealed. Yeah. Yes. Do you remember them yeah. shits? Fuck, I don't remember the name of what the name of those motherfuckers, but I remember we used to smoke the shit out of them. And you know what I used to love is because when you would get it, you would roll it. It was still very fucking moist. But if you wanted to smoke it right the fuck away, threw it in the microwave for like five, ten seconds just to fucking stiffen the outside of it. Right. 
gone, dude, ready. Of course, it would make the fucking microwave smell for an hour for or so. Sure. You know what I'm saying? But, put it in uh, the oven. I mean, that take too long. That'd I take get it, too but long. that's a professional. The microwave. Right. Yo, that's a professional way. It's... Oh, shit. What happened? I almost fucked up. You lost your virginity right there? Oh, ooh. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so we about to smoke up this fucking... Yeah, I'm about uh, to light this shit already. So what we're going to do, I'm going to set a timer because I also like to uh, I like to give people how long it kept me high for. Okay. So I'm going to set a timer after we smoke this shit. But well, nice. When we're smoking it. Right. But um, yeah, we can go ahead and get into it. Buddy. What are some of your music influences? Mm. Like, what did you grow up? Like, we're, we're, like how old are you? Oh, come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's your age, um, I think. I'm pretty sure he's your uh, age. You're, you're probably. I graduated in 2003. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I was about to say probably about a year or two older. Okay. I graduated in 05. Okay, yeah. So we're pretty much in the same era of hip hop right there. Yeah. It's just what did you listen to in that <coughs> time frame? Uh, like, what was knocking in high school? In high school, uh, in high school, a lot of Rockefeller, a lot of Dipset shit. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure, for sure. That's who loves the Dipset right here. Yeah, man. I mean, you just made his day right there. Hey, prior Donna. to, I mean, we, we know a lot of similar people and I didn't a lot get of into similar Dipset. people been listening to the, the same similar shit. But yeah, I mean, man, I Dipset, fuck with Nas. I fuck with Biggie. Yeah, yeah of course. All the classics yeah. for sure. But Diplomats was when I was coming up. So Jewel Santana. Fucking Jim Jones, J.R. Ryder, yeah. Hell Rell, fucking the whole like, squad, Ukasa. bro. What year, Ukasa, Ukasa, yeah. what year was that? What year was all that? Shit, uh, like, from like 98 say. to like 2005, six. Okay. That was uh, a real. I see, I think like, I was like kind of. Like I think. You think so? Yeah. They, they had when a was Ballin? Longer than that. When was Ballin? Ballin? Okay. All right. But I want to say Ballin was maybe. That was the peak. That was like yeah. de- decline after yeah. that. Yeah. I want to say Ballin was maybe 09. I want to say. Okay. I, I, see, I got to look. They had a up. long reign, though. I can't For use sure. I'm recording. I feel like Jim Jones. I feel, I feel if Dipset try to come back, that they would be pretty good. Especially with the bullshit that's out the now. Time, the times of the rap set right Deep now. Dipset. I don't know, bro. I don't know if these young kids would feel that wave. Well, I mean, they laugh. Did you see when Cameron, well, when Jay-Z brought out Cameron? No, where? His last show, uh, he did B-Sides. I can't remember which venue. It's a a historic venue in New York somewhere and shit. And he did a lot of B-Sides. He brought out uh, a couple people. He brought out Cam. Didn't he bring out Nas, too? Yeah. He He brought brought out Nas, Nas too. too. Yeah, right. I thought Nas brought out fucking Jay. I thought yeah. Nas was the one performing, and then he brought out John. I'm thinking of a different. Lovely. Yeah, right. Yeah, it tastes real good. Fucking um, yeah, man. Uh, Dipset was fucking yeah, bro. Nobody was fucking like ah oh, the beats, fucking heat makers, a rap. See, yeah. heat makers, you just struck a chord for me right there. That I've said on a multiple podcast, those are my favorite producers. Yeah, for the sure. Sped up tempo. That sample. Those dudes were beasts on a on uh, NPCs. It's, I don't. I I heard them. I can't remember who's. I think it was maybe on like a Smoke Dizza project recently or oh some shit God, like that. Oh my God, that tastes fucking so nice. Yeah, man, that shit's wow. fire. That's why I told him I feel embarrassed, like giving him that shit. Holy no, shit, good, the bro. difference, like, buddy. The At least you, you knew had. the circumstances of why I acquired that. So, oh no, it was a come up. You know yeah. how many fucking nights that supplied us? I mean, there was that that that's kind of what happened. That's why we started using different names because we didn't have a name for that, and like right. so we just started having different titles and shit. We rolled multiple um, super blunts. Mm. They were like this thick, and it was about this long. Oh shit! We did that a couple times. We did it on the four twenty episode. We did four twenty episode. <laughs> We brought in the homegirl Grapey Grapes, bro. She fucking just got lit, bro. And I think she just got like mad nervous and just didn't really want to talk that much. Mm-hmm. It was kind of funny. Yeah, I kept putting her on blast. You, she kept wanting to just chill and watch. And I was like, pick up that mic, eh? <laughs> right. I kept fucking with her. It was so cool. there was a question. Uh, do you know um, Show Enough Just Dorian? Yeah. I'm, yeah. Yeah. For sure. He put a post on Facebook the other day. Who's a better producer? <laughs> Uh, Pharrell or Timberland? What's your opinion? That, on that's that? funny because um, Pharrell and Timberland actually had this talk recently. Right? Um, did, did you see I've it? seen that on the Beats yeah. One interview? They talked they, about uh, it like in front of each other. Yeah. yeah. No shit. Yeah. What did they say? 
It's, you can watch it on your thing. Like, I mean, I'll, I'll about see it, goes, but like, break it down goes, for me. What did they say? goes like, I was in the club and I hear, doom, do, 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 right? He, he, they were just going back and forth like, yeah, when I heard this song, I heard that song, I heard this song. Like, they were respecting each other's crowd. They're both from Virginia. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. There's a little, something in the water over there. Grinding. I, oh, I wish I went to that shit. Yeah. It looks so dope. That con that that concert. Yeah. That no shit looks so You fuck dope. with Billie Eilish? Grinding. Yeah. I, I just do. think I don't get that weird wave, dog. No? No, you, man. No? I just I'm not I didn't buy him. <coughs> this will put a fucking uh, new jam of the week from her. I mean, I'd never that, heard her. I'd never heard her and I had to find something. No, no, no. I'm and not knocking you for it, but no, you are. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm I'm not a music snob, bro. I mean, I like what I like. <coughs> you fuck with that old town road bullshit. <coughs> I don't, but okay. I'll, I'll tell you this: I'm mad I at saw, hustle. Not at all. Not at all. I'm I'm never mad at anybody's hustle. Like I can, like I have my opinion. Everybody has their opinion. I cannot fuck with your music, but you at see the all same those token, I that came out it. on Facebook. I mean, that's that's gonna happen with anything, really. So he did a collaborative effort with uh, Wrangler. Yeah, I saw that. Jeans. I saw that. Yeah, and a bunch of fucking people were like, "I wear that shit when I go fucking square dancing." And did not know that, dude. I, I'm saying the square dancing fucking around. But, no, yeah, no, I, but, but the whole Wrangler thing. I yeah, didn't know that they he have did a fucking collaborative that. project. It's a small capsule. It's limited edition. Okay, so I mean, you're gonna talk about that's still dope. Yeah, like though. he's killing it. I would right. ride this fucking that wave until you can't. Them. <laughs> like, Stop. dog, you're eating for the rest of your life. Have you seen that. the video? Mm-mm. The, the, the video kind of made me like the song a little better, but I, I still don't. I, you'll never see me play that shit. I won't. You will DJ, never. Dog. I will never be driving in my car. Oh yeah, let me put on this Old Town Road. Nah. Hey, play that <laughs> song again. Yeah. That's not gonna be you. Nah, no. You ain't gonna play it when they request I, it. Whenever I hear that shit, well, you'll be like, I'm sorry, I'm didn't fit. Skip. I'm gonna <laughs> be 100 though. I'm gonna yeah. skip that. I'm shit. at a wedding and it's on the song list. And what I charge for weddings now, mm. I'm playing the song. Right. <laughs> yeah, I'll be 100 with you, guys. For dog. sure, yeah, of course. I don't make pennies anymore, DJ. Yeah, no. If, if, like... if I'm at a paid gig and they want to hear Old Town Road seven times, I'm playing that shit right, seven right, times. Right, so I'm, right. I'm sorry. But will you ever catch me bubbling in the whip? No. No, fuck I play no. Q, I play Cupid Shuffle, too. You know what I'm saying? I play fucking yeah. a lot of bullshit. Yeah, but you wouldn't play that shit in the whip. No, no. No. Ain't no holla back, girl. That was another Pharrell song. Yeah. He see Few so so to answer that question, that I I can't even say like I fuck with both of them heavy, but they're they're two different producers. I say this if if Timberland I, wouldn't have got I, fucked up off the drugs, he would have surpassed yeah, Pharrell. Yeah, because he infiltrated the pop market. And mm-hmm. he had a longer run than Pharrell did at, at that pop shit. Yeah, because he had know? Nelly Furtado and shit. Yeah, bro. He was he killing had, it. Oh, man. And he produced J, uh, JT's next <sighs> album after. Yeah. You know? So, like, there was a lot of shit. Justified is still one of my favorite CDs coming up. Like, even if you don't fuck with that pop shit, like, Pharrell did a lot of music on that CD. Which which one was that? Senorita. Yes, yeah. I feel for That album you. was dope. And then, um, which one was that other one with clips on it? da da Take a few shots with it burn in the chest. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, Pusha killed that fucking We could get down, bump a nerd in the deck. Oh, what's Funny the how a few song? words turn into sex. Did he win Can't Jessica's back? Can't nobody love you like I, just, I, just, I love, love you. you that shit, yeah. Pusha killed that yeah, fucking. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Nah, he killed that shit. shit. I'm like, oh my shit. god, he killed that. Bro, I went to this. That might have to I went to that concert. I went to that concert, dude. He killed that shit. Oh, I'm I haven't fucking, seen JT live. He's he probably did. He, fucking it was in the fuck where the Suns play, and it was yeah. like a big thing in the middle where, like, all the way the fuck around, you were like got to see the stage and shit. You know what I'm saying? That's it was dope it was dope, bro. It was super dope, man. Yeah, he killed yeah. it. He had he has fucking hits. Bro. I was surprised. <laughs> he only had one person open for him and shit. He was like, shit. "I'm gonna come out and do like Woo. fucking two hours, bro." Yeah. Like he did. I'm pretty fucking sure it was at least two hours. That was a long ass fucking time, and then you know they'll they'll get to certain songs and they'll stretch that shit, and then it goes dark, and they do all kinds of crazy shit with the stages and shit, bro. It was right. cool. He turned it into a fucking experience. It was all man of the woods, so there was like these big ass drapes coming down that had fucking like shit fucking onto them, like a movie and shit, like trees and, shit. and fuck, dude. It was dope as fuck, bro. Yeah, bro. It's probably one of the best concerts I've been to, man. It was good. It was good shit. I'm going okay, to so, a bucket so, list concert on Thursday. Yeah, Winston. We seen the young Winston. I seen that that's one of your gems of the week, huh? Yeah. Or your old school. 
I'm a big uh, reggaeton fan from the first invasion wave. You know what I'm saying? Like Daddy so, Yankee, all that okay. shit. <clears throat> you fuck reggaeton? You like reggaeton? Um, when I'm in the club and shit. Right, right, right. Yeah. I mean, I and I have nothing against it. Right, I respect right. it. Nah, man, you get down to that. It's shit. the most. It's the most popular music in the world right now. What is that fucking song? That, that shit surpassed country. That shit you know came that? on. Damn, uh, really? Record sales, I, streams. <clears throat> I was fucking on the fucking. Uh, the elliptical yesterday and that one what is it is it Nicky Jam Como tu te yeah yeah ah, yo no sé he fucked yeah, that up, shit dog. dude he fucking killed that shit dude I went and saw that fool when he came to the Ava Nicky Jam I got some free tickets so Nicky Nicky shout yeah. out to the homie there's probably so many ladies there there was oh yeah there was did I you guys did you guys hear uh, Khaled's new album See, I didn't like it bro me either it's I don't... too overproduced yeah, I, I feel like I they, feel like he's trying to have a radio smash every single song, and yeah, I, I and don't know, like, bro. I just I don't. I'm well, still not too sure to this day what Khaled does. Brings to the table. Does, does he make beats? The curator. He, no, he doesn't make he, the beats. He doesn't do shit. He curator. just comes in and says, "I want to hear this song." You should put this person. I want to put. This beat. I want to hear this, and then I want See, you. Hey, that there's no a fucking, song. There's a funny ass meme. There's this picture of him where he's like looking like this. Like he's all like he likes something, and it's like, hey, I really like your song. Can I scream my name on it? <laughs> I was fucking like, <laughs> I seen another meme because he's always like this, like he has a headache and shit. And it's like, damn, fucking Khaled had a headache since uh, we taking over. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> shit like that, you know. But oh, he has man. been in the game for a. I minute. mean, dude, he does have some fucking hits, bro. If you if you bound Be to get that, if you get that many people together. Like, I think, okay, because my jam of the week is the one that's with fucking uh, John Legend and Nipsey Hussle. I don't yeah, like that, that song. One. I fuck I'm with that one. I'm not a Nipsey fan. I fuck See, with it. And then I saw the video, bro, and I was like I fucking heard, sad heard, as heard, fuck, I heard, dude. I heard previous episodes, and that's that's fair. I get it. I don't like every scene. I don't there's, like his cadence. There's, there's, yeah. Yeah, there's probably maybe six, seven Nipsey songs I like. And that's cool. For and the that's all I've found, too. You know I'm what I'm saying? I haven't found a grip of shit where I'm like, dude, I like everything he did. I I, I, I get where you're coming from. You, you get know what less I'm cool, but I, I have heard some Tekashi, dope shit by him. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're Takashi with somebody you bumped, you'd get less cool points from me. You know what of I'm course. saying? Yeah, you bump Nipsey, I, that's not a downgrade. It, it, you're He is an artist. I just don't like his art. The Guzzler. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean... Every, everybody got everybody, the flavor, bro. Exactly. You know I was saying? just about to say that shit. Well, not that exact thing. But <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody just, has what they like. You know what I mean? Yep. You said that uh, Tyler, the creator, dropped a new album? Yeah. yeah How was that one? I like it. I fuck with the Tyler. He's yeah. a fucking eccentric, bro, but I think that's just his personality. I barely had enough time to, to rock through the Khaled album, and yeah, I, I, I found just, maybe like two, three songs. Did you pass this to me? They sampled, I did. Okay. It's been sampled, going this way. Mommy yeah. been a key. And I then, wanna be your poppy too. They sampled too. Uh, Sorry Miss Jackson see? too. Yes, bro. I was so disappointed. I was so yeah, disappointed. That, that's how it could have been better. <clears throat> like but I don't. I mean, I've. Yeah, that's the one I was about to say too. The Sorry Miss Jackson one. Have, I mean, I don't know anybody that. Do you remember P Diddy and the thought, Family? Yeah, of course. That's that's that fucking jam, bro. Like, they fucked it up for me. <laughs> I becoming like my dad because my dad used to say that shit in the early two thousands. Like, can't these fucking rappers come up with some originality? Quit sampling right. all of our beats and shit. Yeah, because my dad DJ too. Oh, okay, Word. all right. Cal have been doing that shit, man. He be trying. Well, to he fucking... took that fucking Maria Maria and turned it into a smash. Yeah, I mean, he did. Yeah, another one. <laughs> like, all right, man. He's all call me Billy because I'm gonna be a billionaire. <laughs> I bought his like, book, bro. Did you really? Yeah. I have it on the mantle. I'm going to bring it in here just to fucking rock it. Whose book? Did you read it? No. <laughs> Whose book? Whose book? <laughs> Khaled. Khaled wrote a book? Yeah. You bought the book. Good for you, dude. I didn't even read it. You know what? Read it, the you know what? Right? I'm going to go get the motherfucker the keys, on. Yeah. I'm going to go get the motherfucker on Audible the other day. I thought I fucking canceled that shit, right? Because yeah. that shit was getting like 15 bucks a month. I forgot about it, right? Whoa. And then it goes, I let Bing. that shit go like five months, bro. So I was like, fuck it. I'm going to buy a grip of fucking um, books Morals, real quick. Right. And then I fucking canceled it. Why? I thought I canceled it. I, I it, it, like, it gives you those options where it's like, how about you like take a break for like four <laughs> months? And I'm like, okay, uh, I'll do that. And I did that. And I fucking forgot. And the four month thing came the other day and saw, hey, your new fucking tokens here. 
Oh, fuck. Fucked. You know what I'm saying? Fucking Amazon. They got it figured out, dude. They know what the fuck they're doing. Jeff she Bezos is like, a billionaire. But yeah, man. Okay. And then uh, the other thing I saw that I was wondering if you guys thought about this is kind of crazy. Uh, Spotify is dropping this shit called Storylines. It's like uh, Instagram stories, but it's for musicians and shit. Oh, something, something like live content. Something, something new that they're doing that, like, if you're a musician and you want to do behind the scenes shit yeah. with your music for just your music specifically. Everybody doing stories and shit. It's live crazy content. though, huh? Right. It's kind of but I mean, if you think, but, but if you think about, it, that's where it's at though, dog. Like that's where people, because people are people bring yeah. that shit up all the time. Oh shit! Did you see what's his name? What he did on his Instagram live, or what he did on his Facebook, or his Snapchat story and shit? People that's be true. watching that shit. And if it's something you did and you're famous and it's gonna go viral, they're gonna fucking screenshot and they're gonna to take it anyway too. so i mean i don't know it's just more avenues bro i mean mm. if you're an artist dude you got to put your shit out there for as many fucking places as you can get fucking seen i guess different you know? revenue streams yeah dog but i mean it's just something new that they're introducing and shit so i was like all right man i'll bring that shit up right there but okay so we got to get it okay, first i gotta say that this is this is lovely right yeah now. this is fucking lovely. i feel yeah, fucking bro. nice right now bro and i'm like not like yeah not like super fucking yeah, heavy dude, stupid high like like, like yeah, like it's saucy right now. You know what I mean. It, this shit's an indica hybrid, but well, it kind of like it's like kind of like fifty fifty. It's like perfect time to start talking about some fucking Game of Thrones, dude. Some oh, Game of, some did Game you of Thrones, did you ever dude. see that uh, that that post I put of like I do it well not every Sunday maybe like the last two three Sundays, but uh, it's LeBron and it has the uh, Game of Thrones music in the background and it's just perfect he's just like jamming to that shit nah, I oh it's so that fucking one. funny I'll show I it to you after it. but yeah Game of Thrones Dim Thrones dude so <clears> it's <throat> over bro so are yeah. we do you, it's over. Do you do spoilers Yo, that, and you know we... what yeah full fucking spoilers right now yeah, dog. Just... if you haven't fucking seen the fucking <laughs> shit by now bro this shit's Friday dude like yeah, nah. fast forward some you minutes. had plenty of fucking time to, to, to watch the shit you yeah. know or if not pause go watch it come back here we are. Yeah. I didn't. I didn't hate the ending. I didn't hate it either. I, just, I accept. I ex, I accept it, but I don't want to accept it. That's me being fucking greedy, and I feel what everybody okay. else is saying. I feel like they could have done maybe even three more fucking episodes. Right. Three. No, but we three. we saw a saga. That saga ended. I mean, I get that. Yeah. This I'm, is the new beginning. I'm saying a lot of it was rushed. Like, like you know, a lot you're... of it was rushed. I feel a lot of it was rushed. Everything's calm now. It was way now. too much. Everything's calm now. But it was way too much. Yeah. They should not have been able to take out that motherfucking uh, uh, ice motherfucker in one fucking that episode, was bro. Shit, it was hey, G shit. At, hey, at the same time, it, it wasn't just one episode, though. I mean, it kind of was. It kind of was mostly one. They, but, pulled, they but, pulled up at the end of one. And then the, the, that one, the Battle of Winterfell, was the entire shit, and it died. It ended with him dying. And and shout out to Arya for the way she fucking did it. It was gangster shit. But I feel like there should have been way more, bro. There should have been way more. There should have been a situation where John did go get to go head to head with him. He should have got a chance to go. I would love to have seen him go head to head with him. He's never had that chance. You know what I'm saying? He's killed the other fools that came at him like that. See, that would have been beautiful to see him fucking kill that dude. John, the thing with John, bro. He, he's not, he's not that good in battle, bro. He, oh, a lot man. of the times he's I mean, like he getting handles saved his shit, though. Or... He's alive still though, dog. He, yeah, he but okay, so let the battle of the bastards, how, how is he still alive? He That's fucking... true. That's true. They came, they saved his ass. They saved, they his, saved ass. his ass. He should have been dead. He, he should have been, been a fucking he rap, been dead. his sister but came and saved him. It just goes into those whole things where it's like, okay, the, the, the dude that was reborn, there was all these prophecies that are involved in the fucking Game of Thrones. And like the stories didn't really bring that out the way they do in the books is from what I've gathered from people. Yeah. They have all these predictions that all these different fucking things about being born under that fucking, what was it? That rocket that was going, that red fucking rocket when she, when she was born. And then I think something, I, I don't know, dude, there's all these, all these different little fucking prophecies and shit right i didn't even bother with the books oh dude I'm ta- fucking, well, well, no, then you're just, then you're just gonna it. compare the whole I fucking did it, time but i used to I watch thought- this fool i watched this fool named fucking charlie on fucking youtube bro he hmm. explains the shit out of everything bro it's dope the way he breaks it down he like always yeah. tells you for a while while the books were still like because you know you know the, where they're at they're ahead of the dude's book. The book's not even out. You know what I'm saying? He's right. finishing that one. He's writing the Winds of, Winds of Winter, whatever the fuck it's supposed to be called or whatever. The newest one's supposed to come out. He still, he still hasn't finished it, right? Right. He is supposed to fucking, uh, or it, you know, it, it's not going to be the same. His ending, I think it's going to end somewhat the same, probably with Bran as the king. 
but he does but the rest of the details are going to be different you know what i mean how cersei dies how right. fucking everybody dies like different different situations well, you know shit, if you're so. pissed about the ending read the fucking book then i want well, it's Arya, not yeah when it comes out yeah. to use the no. face of jamie that's what I want. Sister. That's what that I would have been. That would have been sick. I would have. But they already gave her the best, the biggest, the biggest kill of the whole yeah. fucking thing, bro. I mean, it was literally the whole fucking thing was about these motherfuckers coming north, and in one fucking episode, bro, they fucking handled that shit. And then when you see Daenerys's <sighs> forces again, like after, like when they when she gives her fucking big speech and shit, her big old fucking uh fucking what was it monarch fucking speech yeah. when she came out there and you saw how many unsullied it looked like and how many doth rockies were fucking still around dude like her army's like damn near tripled and shit dude like where did all those fools yeah. come from dude where remember you saw that remember you saw all the flames go and then it's just... <laughs> Yeah. They were just putting out the fucking flames, yeah, bro. There's only like a few that came back after yeah, that, dude, too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, I don't dude, know. That's where I'm <laughs> like, dude. There's see, so much of it was rushed. A the lot dopest of the, part of that shit was the fucking ice breathing fucking dragon. Yeah, he got he ice breathing dragon. So dope, dope, John bro. should have been dead from that too. He yeah, yeah like, see, exactly, bro. <laughs> and like, no, dude, it fucking <laughs> she killed it at the right moment where he was just all, uh, and then fucking boom, died. And that too, man. I don't, I don't, I don't agree that it just ended in that one episode. Because Arya had to become the, the bitch who she became to kill the, the Ice King. And that kind of took a while. You know what I mean? The mini face too, God. The payoffs were too little. quick. You think so? I think the payoffs were way too quick, bro. You know that George R. Martin said that he originally tried to sign Dan and Dave up for fucking 10 seasons. They Damn, wanted really? 10 seasons. And every year. They could have easily did 10. When they, when they first started, they only wanted to do six. They had Damn, to squeeze really? the last fuck one out of them and shit. Cause it's and it was seven, right? Is it seven or is it eight? It was eight. It's eight. eight. Okay. They had to squeeze the motherfuckers for those last two and shit. They just didn't want to do it, bro. And that's the shitty part, dude. I feel like they needed at least maybe like two, three more episodes to just fucking like just stretch some of that story out, bro. Pay off a little bit more. Did you notice that that dude, what was his name? Varys? How fast it went from him being a snitch to how quick they fucking killed his ass and shit. He was like the master of fucking whispers, bro. And he just like was like, well, well Tyrion, I'm just going to do this shit. On him, though. Tyrion he did, knew. He did snitch Tyrion on him, Tyrion knew though. what was going to happen if he would have said something. Bro. He was going to get executed. But, dude, like, he should have known that. He should have thought that fucking Tyrion was probably going to say something, dog. He should have known that shit, dude. He knew that Tyrion was loyal to her. You know what I'm saying? Straight it was up. a trip scene, John Stabber, though. Yeah. And that whole, and there was no <clears throat> chemistry in that scene, bro. It was just kind of like, bleh. Like, it was like, it wasn't like, like, when it happened, I wasn't like, oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Like, that's how I should have yeah. felt. Yeah. That's how I, I should have felt. And it was just like, I was uh, like, I was yeah, like, oh, I shit. called it. Oh, I knew okay. it. You know what I mean? And yeah. I was like, wow. That's how I felt. And then the same thing with like the dragon. I feel like, I feel like the dragon probably should have. What I would have loved to have seen, you know what I'm saying? Because they say he was a Targaryen and shit like that, dude. Like, apparently the Targaryens can't burn. Would have been dope to see the fucking dragon throw fire at his ass. Who? And it not fucking John. killing okay. John. But then it just, like, fucking, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It didn't know that it was him that fucking killed her, I guess, or whatever. Right. You know what I'm saying? Looked at him and was like, you wouldn't do this, right? Right, yeah. <laughs> This, was this wasn't you, this right, wasn't bro. you right, bro? We're good. Who was it? We're it good. was that chair? Was it that chair right there? <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that chair. All right, Doc. <sighs> <sighs> Motherfucker. Knock the fuck out that chair. That shit is gone right now. Right there, Yo, dude. but she went crazy, dog. She did, bro. She, she murdered way whole... too many people. Hey, I get why she was I, pissed. I get it. You see I all do, the fucking bro, interviews with but... her where she was like fucking like, dude, like she was like... She was sad, bro. She was so hurt by how they fucking just built her character up and then just shat it out, dude. I, that's, that's how I look at it. I feel like, dude, You're they could have the got her. They could have got series. her to fucking Mad Queen status yeah. without doing what they did. I think they mm. did though. Had she fucking mashed up there and just murdered fucking Cersei and them in the Red Keep and just burned the oh, shit okay. out of it, yeah, they would have solved the entire fucking problem in one swoop, dude. One swoop. That would have been it. She had the power to do it. There was no more of them fucking arrows and shit. She just decided to fucking chill yeah. on the outskirts and shit. And then she was looking. She could have just fucking flown yeah, straight, straight there. Straight there. Yeah, that's what I thought she was going to do at first. But she just, fuck she just, this castle. Bitch, I got Dragonstone. You know what right? I'm saying? <laughs> that, you can't tell me Dragonstone wasn't gangster. I think I would have rather had Dragonstone than the fucking 
That shit. Nah, I'm lying. The Red Keeper. Yeah, I was like, out. wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> the Red Keeper had all kinds of pimp shit, dude. Yeah, dude. Yeah, oh, dude. Yeah. I think. Oh, so yeah, man. I don't uh, think I, I wasn't. I'm not satisfied with the ending, but I mean, it is what it is. I have to accept it. I just feel like they really could have stretched out even three more episodes. I would have been happy. You see the million uh, petition signees? I saw that stupid shit, dude. Get the fuck out of here. here All right, right, guys. We got a million signatures. We're going to redo it. Yeah. Fuck out. We're going to do it for us. We're the fans. (laughs) It broke their fucking, uh, it broke HBO's record for um, the live views. It was 13.6 million live views. And then when you factor in the streaming and shit, like as of like right now, it's already at like over 20 million views and shit like that. So it's like one of HBO's most watched shit. I ever, believe it ever, but um, yeah, the plastic bottle in there and shit like that, chilling right at fucking Sam's feet. Yeah, yeah. Do you think they just stopped giving I, a fuck? Like maybe to, once uh, they feel they they knew how it was ending, they were like, to like, I don't even want to fucking be here right, right now. Right. <laughs> You're just like, this is gonna end. This ending's gonna suck. And they then, were, dude, it's funny how they clowned his ass, dude. Like so he they, got they, up, they tried to introduce the democracy, and they just started <laughs> laughing at him and shit. Yeah, dude, why don't that. we have our dogs fucked. get a vote? Like, damn. All the, me- all the memes and shit, dude, that they've already thrown in there and shit, dude. The people laughing at him. Game of Thrones memes are fucking hilarious. They're fucking great, dude. I've loved them ever since I saw the fucking one of Jamie Lannister and it said Uncle Dad. Uncle Wow. Uh, <laughs> the, the one that I fucking died. It was um Yeah, I think it was wait, no, that wasn't the last episode. I think no, I think it may have been no, it wasn't the last episode. It was the episode before the last one where Jamie killed uh what's his name? Uh, what the fuck is that dude's name? Who killed uh the dude who fucked Cersei? The dude who fucks Cersei. Oh, okay, oh, okay. Yeah, the yeah, 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 the 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 pirate dude. Yeah, the pirate. Dude. The butt yeah. pirate. Yeah, that, that fucker. Guy. When uh when Jamie killed him, there was a meme that says um when you found out it was it was the Arthur meme with his hand. Yeah, but the hand was gone because <laughs> nice. Jamie have a fucking head. Yeah. It's like um, when when somebody tells you that they fucked your sister or something. Yes, shit. dude, that, I that, did that see that. Dude, me. fuck. When dude. I saw that the hand was missing, I was oh, like, wow. Man. It's just the fucking sleeve. That shit dude. was so funny to me. Like this fool sent me right away when the fucking whenever that what was it that the, the, what was the name of the church the Notre Dame. Yeah, oh, Notre Dame, Dame, yeah, where they showed them and they showed the fucking dragons, dragons. fucking flying over <laughs> and shit like that. <laughs> I was crazy. like, dude, oh my god, bro, it was just fucking crazy. People like don't make a big deal about the dragons enough. It's like I was into medieval shit growing up, like I liked right. that whole era and all that shit. So seeing them like come to life on a 4K with a surround Damn, sound, yeah. see that, like. That's it was, a whole different it was a experience. fucking experience right. on, on Sunday, bro. Like speaking of medieval, uh, do you know that they're gonna be making a medieval times in Scottsdale? I or? saw you yeah. I saw you posted that shit yep. like on your story or something, right? Yep, I was coming from oh my god, bro. There's this there's these breakfast places in Scottsdale. There's is this place called Hash. I I guess uh this white girl tried to take me there. I guess their breakfast is really fucking good. Yeah. But they have a fucking DJ playing like loud as fuck dubstep like While it's like a club yeah bro i'm like shit. i don't want to fucking be here <laughs> <laughs> fucking dj <laughs> dubstep in like bro it's like like you just came from this shit eight hours ago <laughs> like bro you motherfuckers <laughs> i'm not trying partying. to hear this shit i, I hated that shit what the fuck are you but doing? yeah i was leaving from there and i saw that shit i was like oh shit at first i thought it was a white castle because there's supposed to be a white castle somewhere they're there. building one in scottsdale yeah i heard about but that as i looked and i was like oh shit medieval times and i guess there's one in like texas or some shit but i remember there's one in cable LA. guy there's one in la i went Is to there? that one. Oh shit i went to though. that one that one's in um it's like right in Anaheim right there. It's okay, literally yeah. like like from the parking lot, you can see Knott's Berry Farm. You can see it? Yeah. Damn, okay. You can see so Knott's Berry Farm. Right and then like right next door, there's like a Best Western dude. And like we mm. went up there one time and we stayed there. We literally stayed there and we walked to eat at Medieval Times. Dope. And that shit was fun. <laughs> I bet it was, bro. I, I All I remember bro. is just fucking Cable Guy. Dude, so yes. I see your skin. I was fucking cracking. We were we were in the fucking. We were sitting in the yellow section, dog. So I was over there fucking yelling at shit, dude. I was like, "Red team's going down, yellow gang, baby. Can't fuck with the yellow knight, baby." 
I was going off, dude. Like, I have the Snapchat. Bro, I was fucking tipsy as fuck, dude. My fucking mother-in-law was buying us drinks and shit, dude. It was fun, bro. So what? So so what do they have? Like, is it's it- Dude, it's dope as fuck. Like, check this out. There, like, There's, like, multiple fucking showings, right? So, like, it's a fucking, like... It's a waiting game, right? You, you're mm. outside for a little bit. And then when they open it up and you come in, like another group moves in, you come into this area where you can buy drinks. Right. You can get drinks. You can buy these dope ass little medieval time fucking souvenir cups, bro. I'm talking like 20 different ones to fucking choose from. Yeah. The fucking, all the fancy little fucking crazy shit you get from those eras. You know what I'm saying? You do that, right? And then you can go buy, you can go through this little museum they have in the back, dude. Like, dope. You, it's dope. You buy all your fucking souvenirs, all that shit. You can buy all that shit. And then when the fucking show's over in there, you go in, you sit down, bro. They bring out fucking, it's literally just like chicken and fucking, like, I think like coleslaw and uh, potatoes and you get like a drink and shit, shit like that. Yes, dude. It's all fucking <laughs> eat it with your fucking hands. Damn, dude. really? They got swimming. I mean, they got soup and shit where you can fucking. Yeah. But I think even the soups, they, they're they like, they won't give you a fucking spoon you unless you ask for it and shit. Yeah, you just, <laughs> you just sip That's that dope. shit. They get it. And then, yeah, dude. And then they fucking, while you're eating, they bring out the homies. They do their little exhibitions and shit to show you what they, what they can do. And then at the very end, dude, they have the battle and fucking your homie does what he does or whoever wins and then wow. let your ass the fuck out, dude. It's fucking. It's dope, dude. It's like a one little one hour, one and a half hour type of thing. Yeah, Bring me his that's head. It's fun, bro. It's fun as fuck, dude. It's a little pricey, but like when oh, we went over there, man. we found some. We found some uh, like a, almost like a, like a Groupon type thing, oh, okay. where instead of it being like I think like fifty bucks a person, it was like thirty five. Okay. So sure. we bought that shit. Me and my my, my lady, my mother in law, we went up there to go to like Disneyland or some shit like that. Or, and go buy shit for like the event center and shit like that. Just, you be traveling, fun. man. You it be was, getting out. Hey, bro, that, I'm telling you, dog. I, I, love I swear, it, every I love other it. fucking week it seems you're somewhere. I'm trying, bro. We're I in try. Bisbee. I mean, we're in Cali. Well, I mean, some of that shit's we're like you fucking know, in Hawaii. Some of that shit's somehow. like you know, work. If if I'm doing like photo shoots or something like that out there. That's that's for a fucking blessing, bro. That's dope. Yeah, I mean, I I love it, dude. It, it's dope. I, I owe a lot of it to my mother in law, bro. Like she broke it down for us when she bought that fucking. Uh, she got us a fucking timeshare, bro. Like when we got married and shit, she got in on one like super fucking cheap, dude. It right. wasn't even built yet, dog. And then we <laughs> used that fucking everywhere, bro. Like we've taken it to Hawaii, to fucking Washington, to Virginia, yeah. uh, fucking a bunch of places. It's been fun, dog. We went and did that, dude. Like that's why I was telling you out there at fucking uh, Williamsburg. Where they do like the fucking thing where you go and the people act like it and they're dressed up in their <laughs> pantaloons and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> like fucking Ben Ben Franklin and shit, dude. Dude, that fucking episode was great, bro. I love uh, that shit, man. Yeah, oh fucking no office, great. dude. I'm telling you, dog. I fucking <laughs> love that shit. Dude, I swear to God, dude, like when are I'm you, doing uh, work. Are you nearsighted I, or far sighted? <laughs> when I'm, when that's when why I'm, I invented the bifocal. Dude. <laughs> Dude, he fucking well, I love at the end when when Dwight's trying to drill him and shit, dude. He's like, ah That is not the He real had ben every Franklin. fucking answer for him, dude. It was great. Dude. I am ninety nine percent sure. I love that fucking oh, oh, that was a good ass episode. But yeah. I had to bring that up for you, dog, because I saw that it was gonna be off there and I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm just gonna have to buy the fucking DVDs. Fuck that shit. Yeah, for just sure. Just keep them shit. Because I love having fucking background noise like that, like while I'm doing work, like yeah. while I gotta sit here and do shit on the computer and shit. I love having something, just something, and I'm fucking over here laughing. I'll turn, I'll look, but I'll fucking still get my work done and shit. I think this guy's high. You look pretty big, dude. So like, let's so like, let's talk about that, dude. Yeah, this is definitely a very nice strain, dude. Like, I don't feel like like I'm gonna fucking pass out right now. I feel fucking nice. Yeah. So the effects. I mean, I'm I'm pretty good. I don't feel overwhelmed. No. What I mean. No. And I have a pretty high tolerance too. And I'm I'm like I feel really good right now. I'll for sure get this again. Me too. I don't feel paranoid or nothing. You know what I mean? Right. I feel really good. Yeah. Got me lifted. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out. Yeah. Shout out to Sin- the Shout out pretty, to the pretty blitzed right now. Yeah, that kosher kush was something else. It was yeah, kosher. No game, Definitely bro. kosher. I'm fucking smacked right now. That but, was um, good shit. Yeah, bro. It's been a nice little what, 35 what was the t- minutes. Nice little 35 yeah, minutes right there. Oh, shit. Hard. This shit's still- yeah, man. Yeah. Yo, switching that um, setting on your phone to 4K resolution, oh, game changer. Yeah, bro. <laughs> S60 I, I frames recently no started joke. doing that. Yeah, I'm like, why is my shit? Mo- oh, yeah. okay. That shit is sharp. All right. That that fucking yeah. 460 frames is no joke. Man. Yeah, it's it's a whole new phone. I fucking love it. Love it. iPhone. I don't know, man. I I got the 8 Plus, and I don't think I'm gonna upgrade my shit. I got that. 
Max. I don't know. What <laughs> Max. Hey, did you buy those? Did you buy that shit that I sent to you? What shit? The fucking the Amazon shit. The link that the, I sent you. All the screen. You should have bought them. You fucked up. What was it again? They were fucking. They're they're glass fucking uh, protectors. And how much were they? Ten bucks for three of them. Damn, Damn for three. And the fucking dude, I'm telling you, they're dope, dude. My sister originally bought some. That's Ross price. What the beautiful thing That's about Ross it price. is, <laughs> it has fucking. Uh, it has this little plastic fucking piece that goes onto it. Yeah. And it's like the frame to where once you fucking peel the little glass shit, you just align it with it. Okay. And you set it down inside. You can't miss, bro. Right. You literally can't fucking miss. It's beautiful. And then all you got to do from there is like fucking smooth out the bubbles and shit. Right. It's all about how you clean it and when you first uh, like set it up. But it comes with like a wet fucking little thing. Comes with a dry one. Then you put that plastic piece on. Then you take this fucking sticker, bro. Like a like a fucking like literally a sticker. Oh, for like the and you take shit. it and you go and you 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 do it all over the fucking screen like that. You get like every little last little particle off. Mm. Then you take the little glass thing on. Boom, set it on there. Fucking beautiful, bro. I, every time I've done it, I've got it like fucking perfect. And then like one day I reached into my pocket and I had kind of like a little bit of a nail growing on one and shit, like on one side right here. And I felt that I touched it right where the thing, and sure enough, dude, it came out, a little bubble started right there and then it fucking never went away. I was like, you fucking bitch. So I went and fucking changed the shit. Right, had you got three you of them, two dude. other ones? Had right. three of them, dog. But I did have one on my last phone, bro. On my Before I uh, upgraded this, I had the fucking 7 Plus mm. and I had one on that and it fucking, I dropped the motherfucker, bro. And it it broke, but it broke the screen. Right. So it yeah. saved it, bro. Because then I would have had to replace the screen, but I was able to fucking trade that fucker in and get like four hundred off of this motherfucker. Nice. So yeah, so it worked out, dude. Like I was like, fuck yeah. But I love them little things, and they're easy to do, bro. They're easy to do. That's why I was. And it, it was because it was that particular brand. I was going through the fucking Amazon fucking shit that they have like on sales, like during like certain hours and shit. Yeah. And I saw those. I was like, dude, fuck yeah. But they didn't have it for my size. I was old about another one. I was like, I'm gonna stock up on these bitches right here. I'm trying to keep this motherfucker like as clean as possible so that every time a newer one comes out right. i can take mine back and be like look yeah let's trade Upgrade this motherfucker in right here and you know do this right here but yeah man fucking game of thrones bro i mean uh it is what mm -hmm. it is dog i was was i disappointed yeah so many I, haters bro there's so many memes it is what it people is, are dude. so happy that it's over yeah oh yeah oh <laughs> that shit yeah is funny. yeah it is well what do you think is going to be the next game of thrones like what do you think oh uh, shit i don't even know man I, don't know. I, mean, I heard that my, Watchmen my show, is coming out. It looks like it's yeah, going to be pretty that, good. Uh, that Chernobyl show looks pretty dope. Yeah, I haven't I'm seen any episodes. The preview looks pretty crazy, though. Uh, Barry man. just ended, though. They're gonna be another, there's going to be another season, though. Bill Hader's fucking hilarious. Hilarious. I love him on when he's on fucking Bob's Burgers, dude. Yeah. <laughs> he was the little dude that robbed the bank and shit. He's yeah. all, <laughs> oh, yeah. he's all, shit. he's all, Bob, come on, what do you need here? He's like, I, I can break a 50. And he's like, he's like, oh, I got a, a, a five. And shit, he's like, oh, well, okay, well, okay. He's like, one, two, three, we broke your five. He's like, <laughs> yeah, bro, he's funny. And fucking I like Barry because he, it's, it's a different role for him. I've been telling my lady we need to watch that. Well, that's, that's just the, he's like, uh, He's like a what is he a, a spy or a he's a uh, he's like a retired person. fucking yeah, he's like a henchman hitman, hitman. Yeah. yeah retired hitman or something yeah but he goes to L A and he fucking he tries to pursue an acting career and okay shit. yeah it's it's okay. pretty cool all right I'm gonna check that shit then, out next um, then that'll be next on our list to watch man because I need something yeah. I need something I mean I go I'm back not, to like, the office all the time but it's just, it gets, it gets, sometimes yeah. you gotta have something different yeah you see that once upon a time in Hollywood trailer I did. I yeah. did. That looks that good. Looks That's crazy. Quentin Tarantino. Yeah. He's got a he, uh, Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio. Dude, he's just got so many famous homies, and he's just like, right. hey, I'm doing <laughs> another movie. You down? He down? Oh, I got you. you. It's gonna be classic. We don't got a crazy budget here. It's tenth. It's t it's the tenth movie. We don't have a crazy budget here, so <laughs> right. You have to give me a solid. I'll get you on the back end. I can't. Nah, not for not for Tarantino. That'd be fucking QT. awesome. That man. movie to have a little fucking yeah. It's gonna be. It's gonna be dope. Have you seen? Or I, I think we kind of touched on it last time. But the fucking uh, the hateful eight. I've seen. You it. seen what they did with it on Netflix? Oh, they extended, extended, right? shit. It's extended it's like, to it's four like episodes, fucking hours, right? bro. Yeah, shit. it's yeah. four fucking episodes, hour long episodes. Really? Yeah. I, I, the other day, I I was I was watching something. Mm. And it was one of those movies that it's like if if it ends and you don't press something, something else starts oh, yeah, just, afterwards. Yeah. So it was one of those things. And then when it came on, and I started seeing scenes that I was like what the fuck? 
Mm. Like, I don't remember him fucking uh, asking him to come out and hold the horses. And he actually does get down and hold the horses. But he has Daisy Domergu with him. And it shows him and the fucking other dude start to actually get the fucking bodies to put up on top of the shit. Right. When he asks him for a ride and shit, you know what I'm saying? And, and and I was like, what the fuck is all this extra shit, bro? And it was I, I went and read into it. Dude. Yeah, so it's like an extended shit. I'm gonna I'm gonna watch that shit next time I'm working on like somebody's website and shit where I'm gonna be up for a You'll couple be hours. Catch the nuances shit. and shit. Yeah, it's gonna be dope. Yeah, because I've watched that movie a great time. I fucking love that movie. That's a great movie. I fuck with that one. But uh, okay, um, okay, dude. So switching over to some culture shit, dude. I, I saw this. I was kind of sad. It's kind of funny. But uh, <laughs> the poor grumpy cat died, dog. Yeah. What is he? The fucking R.I.P. to grumpy cat. I guess. Man. I guess that cat is from Tucson. I get the fuck started. out. Yeah, of here. bro. Oh, no way. Yeah. I no recently way. just seen that on Twitter. Oh, that that cat's from here. Fuck. That's he. Yeah, that you might want to fact check. That, that makes it even more sad. Ain't that a grumpy bitch. cat? Grumpy cat was uh, seven years old, I think. What's that in cat years? Like 60 or something? Oh, yeah, like 35 or some shit like that. I don't know. But he got famous. The the, the, the cast name was Tartar. The Good Life. (laughs) The cast name was what? The cast name was Tartar Sauce. (laughs) Tartar Sauce. She went went viral at five months in 2012. And she was fucking, yeah, for however long that is. Is she from here? I, I don't know. What does he say? I, I, haven't, I haven't looked it up. Just Tartar yet. sauce. Wow. Like tartar sauce, bro. Tartar sauce for your pet cat. <laughs> Let me see. Where is Grumpy Cat from? This is Morristown. Mm. Morristown, Arizona. Okay, Arizona, not Tucson, but yeah. yeah. That's crazy. Place of birth. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> we literally just found out where the fuck Grumpy Cat from real quick. <laughs> <laughs> that is great. Morristown. Okay, so oh, dude. Okay, so look, something new for this week. Okay, oh, we got to give a yummy. shout out to the homegirl Cindy. Mm. Uh, she brought us some snacks from Peru. Shout out. She was down. She was down there on vacation, and she thought of the hood diner. And she brought us back some shit, bro. What were, what were they, DJ Center? One of them was that. Uh, here's chocolate. the cho- here's the chocolate. And then I got this. Lacuma. Quiggy Gold. It's like a. Uh, <laughs> It's like a, what's it called? Like a fruit that grows over there. She covered in chocolate. Shweeky gold. Chi. Chiki gold. I think that's how you say it. I think it's chiki gold. Right? Because chihuahua, like chi, and then kui gold. I think that's what it's called. But it's a, it was but, a, a super granola mix. This shit was that funny. How you say we that were calling Peru? it bird feed because that's exactly what it was. It was funny. It fell apart, but it was good, though. It was good as fuck. What, what language do they speak in Peru? Peruvian. Spanish? Peruvian. <laughs> Spanish. Do they really? It's probably yeah. like a, it's probably like some form of Spanish, probably. Yeah, I, I would, would imagine. But uh, South American. But yeah, man, it was dope. It was dope. And then what was the drink you brought? It was more of that crazy amoeba shit that yeah, we brought the last mm-hmm. time. The strawberry shit. The Osmosis Jones. Basil yes. Seed drink with yep, mango basil really seed, left. mango flavor. You don't have to take a five. I gotta use the restroom. All right, man. We're gonna we're gonna take a break. Same. Hola. Me amo Hunter. Y me amo Riley. Yo tengo un gato el en fuego en mi pantalones. Y uh, yo soy planjamos. Y le señor tú los hudainer. Only en la Inner Circle Podcast Network. A few moments later... But yeah, man. Uh, okay, a so fan? we're back. Uh, yeah. Big what? Musically, yeah. I mean, <coughs> personally, he's on some other shit, but his glow in the dark's come out uh, May twenty fifth. Yeah, I recently about the shoes. Dope. Yeah. I recently got my first pair of Yeezys last month. Are they comfortable? They are. They're really are they really? Are they worth the hype? The only thing I don't fuck with is that they don't come with any. Yeah, I've seen them. They're dope as fuck. They don't come with any <sighs> extra pair of laces. And I was like, oh, okay. But I mean, that's kind of cool. Like, you're going to be that dude in the club? I have a pair of glow. <laughs> I have a pair of glow in the darks in the car. So of Nike those dunks? right there. The Nike Dunks. Oh, Nike which, Dunks. Which Dunks? See, uh, I've, I've fucked with Dunks heavy. I'll, I'll grab them after the podcast. I was so fucking sad that I didn't podcast. get those 420 Dunks, yeah. bro. I, I took three fucking L's that you day. You know who gets a lot of SB Dunks is Blocks. I took a fucking L at Blocks, too. Yeah. 
I was hot. I drove down here to fucking go. Like, I called somebody who was down here. I was like, hey, go fucking wait in line for me. I'm driving down there. I'll break you off with some bread. Dude. And I fucking, the motherfucker before me got the last pair, and it was my oh. fucking size, too. I was hot. I was sick. He pulled a DJ and fucking, and Before then, I woke up at fucking 7. I took a L on sneakers. I took a L on a fucking website. I forgot what other website it was. And then I saw blocks like, oh yeah, we got, uh, uh, we got a pair of every size from eight to thirteen. It's like, okay, cool. And yeah, you literally got to be waiting there before the store open. Yeah, for sure. They they open a little earlier because there's already people outside. But yeah, dunks are real dope. Yeah, I love dunks. I like the fat tongue ones. Yeah, uh, Jarris calls them fat heads. Yeah. Yeah. Did you see uh, the ones that Robert Downey Jr. got that were like pimped Iron out Man like ones. Iron Man and shit? Oh yeah. Were those dunks or were they they were uh, oh, Jordan, Jordan ones. ones? Right. Yeah, that's what they were. That's right. Yeah. Easy misconception. They yeah. I, the I, I mean, same. I mean, yeah. <clears throat> so speaking of uh, speaking of shit, so sports, <laughs> fucking uh, Golden State swept Portland, and did the Bucks wind up winning tonight? I don't even know. Because I think that means that they tied it up, right? Or the or the Raptors uh, won, and I think they tied it up. I don't know. I forgot to check it before it came. Well, the score here. Get your ESPN. 120 Raptors, 102 the Bucks. Series is tied 2-2. 2-2. Okay. Mm-hmm. You see out. Zion might go back to Duke? Shut the fuck up. You think he might do that? There was a report, but he's like, I am not going to the Pelicans. I seen a meme that says when you're leaving Duke and then the chicks start calling you Wody. Right? I mean, it's funny Wody. though. Yeah, that's funny. Hey little baby. <laughs> Say it, baby. You know, I've been I've been in New Orleans. I mean, I've, you know, that Creole accent is a thing. Yeah, it's real. You know? I've, I've encountered a lot of people from New Orleans, but I haven't been there personally. I want to go there. I want to check that shit. Crazy, when we were on the Amtrak. I'm surprised you haven't been there. It's on the list, dog. It's we're on, on the Amtrak. It passes right through the, one of the hoods, one of the ghettos. Yeah. One of the pro- I don't forget what project it was. The conductor was like, don't leave the train station because you might not come back. Damn. I believe it. Like, bro, their their cemeteries... The fucking tombstones, not tombstones, the caskets are above ground. Because of sea level? Yeah. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Fuck, man. That shit is crazy. Above ground <laughs> caskets. Like. And then what's crazy, dog, is all the shit that went down and shit and fucking how a lot of that shit's all been underwater and but it's all been rebuilt and shit. Yeah, dude. It's fucking crazy, man. That's, that's, that's a whole nother podcast. Right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That was like, yeah, yeah. We'll dive into that shit. Um, so, okay. Shit. So, sometimes I like to do shit about, I like to talk about some different tech shit. You know what I'm saying? Seven. And um, I don't know if you guys have ever tried like any of the Adobe um, like mobile products and shit, but there's this one called Adobe Rush. And uh, it's actually pretty dope. I don't know if you can use it or how much it costs. I have like the fucking Adobe subscription shit so I can use them for fucking free, whatever. You know what I mean? But there's one where you can do really cool video with it. Like for if, if just for simple shit, like for Instagram, uh, stories, or like YouTube, right? Mm-hmm. Does those three sizes. It does a square, does the widescreen, and it does the tall one and shit. So it works really good. And apparently it's finally coming to Android and shit. And you're like, I don't know, you know, I've had it for a while, but a lot of companies have been wanting to fucking uh or you know, the Android's been wanting it for a while and shit, dude. So they're finally gonna get that. And mm-hmm. then what did you write here, dude? Chinese phone company, what? Yeah, that fucking Chinese hey way. competitor. That Oye Wei. Oye Wei. <laughs> hey way. Chinese phone company has chip supply cut off due to Trump's ban entity list. So they're on an entity list. So they have to apply to receive goods from American-based companies or any companies in general now. <laughs> so they cut off their supply of their Pentium chips and a lot of different, like Qualcomm and a couple other companies. Damn, really? cut off their supplies to them. So now they're in a situation where they can't use the Android um, network anymore platform. So now they got to go open source. They can't put their shit on Apple play or Google play or whatever the fuck those two different, a couple different websites or um, Avenue streams. They can't use right because of the ban. Have you tried this? See, that's like crippling your fucking economy. Uh, heard about Have it. Have you heard us talk about it? Yeah. It's kind of crazy, bro. 
I'm going to tell you right I'm... now, like, if you, I mean, I know you probably have your own ways of taking care of your cotton mouth. Oh, yeah, I'm killing this EG. That's dope. But I'm just saying, like, if you ever get that bio situation, team, bio team, bro, like, it's crazy. Like, was it like three bucks or something? No, nah, this fucking shit's like, I think, like, I think it was like 11 for two bottles. Yeah, for real. Oh, okay. <laughs> two like, bottles. Damn. I mean, dude, they $3, use, 11 they for use this two? shit in, uh, like, doctors, like, doctors prescribe this to fucking people. Yeah, really? so I swear by it. Shit. Right. <laughs> and so I'm telling you, bro, like, I think it was like episode five, bro, where we found this shit. And if you listen to like episode like one through four, our Got lips are Yeah. <laughs> whole bunch of snaps, yeah. whole bunch of snaps and licks and licking the it. water. You just hear the guzzler like a motherfucker. Like, holy shit, I got cotton mouth. You know what I'm saying? But this yeah. is. This is the cure to cotton mouth, bro. I'm telling you right here. I'm talking I'm going to fucking reach out to bio team. Right. Like, hey, what's Why up? Bro, hey, um, we fucking have been praising you. You know what I'm saying? But, okay, so one last thing in tech. Have you guys seen that shit? It's called the DJI Osmo Action. You've seen mine, right? You've seen my Osmo Pocket, like the one that I bring with me all the time. It follows shit. you? This one right here. No, 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 no. So th- this one. I've showed you guys this one. you seen this? you seen me no. fucking do my little well, thing? Uh, probably. This shit Turn this shit on, right? Oh, okay. It's, it's got a gimbal, right? So it's like, so like you can use oh. it to see yourself. You know what I'm saying? And like the footage is always gonna be nice and stable and shit. Right. So like the, the this company DJI, they're the same companies that make uh, the drones and all that shit. You oh. know what I'm saying? That people use to do videos and stuff. Well, they did a fucking it shit called the Osmo Action, and it um it basically is a GoPro. It's basically oh, yeah? a fucking GoPro, but this go this one has a screen on the front, so you can see yourself. You know what I'm saying? So it's like it's kind of tailored to like vloggers and shit like that and people that want to use their action cameras and like on vacation and shit. Like that, I think I see that one the most, bro. Like besides people using their phones and besides people using like, you don't really see like the vloggers, like those motherfuckers that are out there with those big old fucking right. tripods <laughs> that look like the anal beads with a fucking fat ass cannon right. on it with the big ass lens and the big old fucking microphone on top. Yeah. You see those dudes, those like the Casey Neistats and shit, those crazy fuckers that blog on YouTube. Motherfuckers are doing that shit. They're taking it way too serious. Me, this is where this, that's where this motherfucker comes Compact. in fucking handy, bro. It's beautiful, right? I've always had like a smaller camera that I love to take with me. Like if we go to Disneyland and shit, I'll be on the fucking thing and I'll be all holding it and shit. I'm like, ah, going crazy and shit on the fucking ride. You know what I'm saying? But they made a fucking action cam, bro. And it like, it's really fucking dope. It's got like this built in stabilization that like, you can fucking run with it, bro, and the fucking shit's going to stay nice and fucking steady and shit. It's going to look all fucking clean. Dope. Like, I have to recommend it because people should check it out. Like, if you're fucking somebody that loves going on vacation, it's like one of the most perfect vacation cameras you can take. If you don't really want to, if you're not the type of person that takes, like, big cameras, but you really want to take something that shoots really nice footage, this bitch shoots in 4K Damn. up to 60 frames per second. So it basically does what your phone does. Yeah. But... You go all up in the water with this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? You could do the time lapses with it. The crazy shit is, it's like all the shit that's built for GoPros already, it all fits the same motherfucker, bro. Yeah. So DJI was smart. They're like, shit, we're just going to piggyback off all your fucking accessories and shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, you mean them accessories you already got because you got a GoPro? Just buy us and boom, you use our camera with their Universal shit. Universal fit. Poof. That's genius, bro. That's fucking genius right there. So like, mm-hmm. yeah, man, check it out because, you know, it's, it's a really good fucking... Uh, little camera and shit dude it's pretty dope i've been watching a lot of the videos on what these dudes can do with it right so work if you want to go on vacation and just like document that shit dude and have a good ass time with it it does everything bro like you know i mean you have your phone you take good ass photos with your phone right of like your food or whatever the fuck you're doing places selfies and shit but like this little motherfucker dude does all that shit too that's Mm. tight you just get some extra batteries and shit how much does it run three three fifty that's not too bad. So it's already 50 bucks less than the fucking top fucking uh, Hero Black 7, whatever the fuck it is. Okay. I love that sure. shit, bro. I'm all about that fucking tech shit, dude. I fucking mm-hmm. love watching those videos and shit. But, uh, okay, so um, check this out, dude. Hey, how are your turtles, man? They're fucking so big. I need to build are them. Are they a, really? I, I need to build them a new fucking thing, bro. I feel <laughs> yeah. bad for them. I did. I have a thing in the backyard, bro. Yeah. And I take them in the backyard and I let them walk around for like, you know, like 10, 15, 20 minutes and shit sometimes. Yeah. But the, all they do is they start to, they just start to find the fucking shade because they're scared of the sun and shit. Damn, really? Yeah, dude. Because, I mean, they're so used to just their life. Oh, yeah, right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's probably that's, way too that's fucking that's much the fucking They're like, what? Right. <laughs> Oh, bigger life. Oh, shit. The fuck? <laughs> that, shit that shit is crazy. <laughs> right. 
Right. But they're big, full fucking Marty, dog. I think he's a bully, dude. He's way bigger than Doc is now, bro. And Doc is like two uh, a week older than Marty is. Yeah, it's really? Funny. Yeah, he's always been a little bit bigger. And I think Doc remembers the younger days where fucking Doc used to bully Marty. And now Marty's that asshole, bro. Right. But, but he's 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 a good he's a good guy. And I've watched this shit in the morning. He's a good bro. guy. Right. Let me let me stand up guy. Check this out. When my lady feeds him in the morning, right? And like if I'm asleep and she she goes to work and shit, I can still watch them through this little fucking camera that I have on them, right? Just to make yeah. sure they don't tip over and shit. Because if they do, I have a fucking thing on like an Amazon switch that turns off the light so that they won't like get all dried up from being upside down if they right. can't. But I've seen them get upside down, bro. They help each other out, dude. They're dope, dog. <laughs> they, he'll come so and he'll, it, it, the thing is, is because the, the space is kind of small. So they kind of got to help him move him around and shit to get him. And eventually he winds up tipping him to a point to where he can like, oh, all right. I'm good. I'm good, you know what I'm saying? But like right. but, but what what Marty does dude is fucking funny. My lady will feed them and then they'll both come out, right? And then they'll fucking both get some sun, but then Doc will go down and he'll fucking grub and fucking Marty will let him eat. But he'll be like, hey, but whatever you leave, <laughs> that shit is mine, homie. And I've seen Doc eat, go away, like chill, take a nap. Marty will finish the food. Doc will come back out and he's like looking around like, God damn, really? Like I was hoping there was going to be something left, you know what I'm saying? So I'll fucking hook him up and I'll see that he will eat it. So it lets me know he still is fucking hungry. Right. But he wants like to eat like in different spurts and Marty just fucking grubs one and done. And he's just yeah. set for the day. He goes back up to the top. He just pfft, throws himself out. That sun fucking, but it, the, the sun is essential, bro. It helps them uh, like process the food yeah, and then yeah. every week I give them a fucking bath dude. they just shit dude. they fucking shit it's crazy bro they, really I, shit. they just you have to bro it, it helps them shit like it's bad yeah. if they're like shitting in their area but if you stay on top of it they'll shit when you get them warm and you give them a bath and shit like that they'll shit there so it keeps their terrarium area fucking clean you know what I'm saying mm -hmm. but you that's when I know when I'm like fuck I need to give them a bath it's like it's like every like four or five days that I give them a bath now. Before it was like at least like two times a week and shit, but now it's like they're getting bigger and shit. But it's crazy that I do. I need to build them something bigger because they need more room like inside, dude. Like their little right. fucking house, dude. Doc's so big that poor Doc. Like if Doc had to come out and take a piss or something like that, he gonna be stuck in there because Marty's not gonna move. Shit. <laughs> nope. Damn. Fuck off. Sorry. Dude, yeah, man. But uh, <laughs> so dude, let's get into the jams of the week, bro. Let's get into the jams of the week. My jam of the week, obviously, like I said earlier, was the DJ Khaled song with Nipsey and John Legend called Higher. And my old school jam of the week was uh, fucking uh, A Night to Remember by Shalimar, bro. You remember that mm. song with Shalimar? Sing it. <sighs> Where the fuck? How the fuck does it go? I don't want you to play I'm drawing a high ass it. blank, so now I have to play it. Don't, don't give me that shit. Watch. Right here. He's like, no, fuck you, buddy. Right here, remember? Gonna make this a night to remember. Get ready. And then fucking uh, Criss Cross redid that shit. Remember that song, Tonight? Please, my whole crew makes G's. Tonight's the night, baby, so roll up on these. Tonight, tonight is the night. That shit was dope back in the day. Yeah, uh, Earthquake with an F. Earth, yeah, Earthquake. That's a good one. Who's, you, uh, who's on that? Is that the one with, uh, no, that's not the one with Kanye on it. I didn't see nobody else as a feature on it because I wrote it down and shit. Like yeah, they didn't have there. it published, but there's, there's definitely a feature. Is there somebody on that? Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know if there's somebody on that particular song, but he right. for sure has features on that shit. Yeah, I heard the new, um, I saw the video this weekend too. The fool's crazy in his videos. Yeah, he's wild. He's out there, man. This, but this, this Igor character he has is, is different. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> For sure, difference the word. Yeah, he's that's that's why I like Tyler. He's he's he keeps it different. Yeah, and then my my uh, throwback is uh, Weezy on Dell, um, Noche de Sexo. It's a <laughs> how the fuck is that? I thought it said Manegueta. No, 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 no. That's what I thought it said. I wrote down something completely different. Yeah. See, that's why I need you to write the title. I need you to write the name the way I do it. I write the that. name, the title. You said the link. That's all you said. No, I said yep, put it no. in. The, I just said put it's it in the notes. notes which is if just you go in there and you physically I'll see, put it in your mouth. if you physically hey, see the way that I do song, it, fucking knocks. Oh yeah, right. That yeah, Akineli, yeah. yeah. that's, that was yeah. another one of those test your sub shits. Yeah, that, that was. shit. My baby left me. Well, the reason yeah. I picked that reggaeton song is because I'm going to go see them this week. They're right. coming here? They're coming to Phoenix. Oh, okay. So, this will be a good show. Who do you got as a... Are they Van Buren or fucking 
somewhere bigger. Um, I think it's Comerica. Oh, okay. Yep. What you got for Jam of the Week? Who's something uh, new you Jam of heard? the Week, something new would probably be uh, Attention, Schoolboy Q, off his Crash Talk album. Don't. That seems tight. Yeah, it's pretty dope. Chopsticks is the... And mine was... Yeah. Uh, uh, I I don't know. You it think, it uh, is a radio song. I I'm not that huge of a Travis Scott I would say fan. Overrated or underrated? Travis Scott over for sure. That's not, that's my opinion. One. Not the only one that feels that way. Yeah, he's super. Like some of his shoes are cool, but he he's overrated. No, some of his shoes. Mine was uh, mine was lies a couple weeks ago. Lies with uh, YG and Ty Dolla Sign. Oh yeah, yeah, That's yeah. Schoolboy Q shit. I Stop like that. Telling that was his own man. That, that shit dope. ain't okay. Hey, hey, hey. And then that day goes hard, bro. Ty Dolla Sign is always on like the same beats. It sounds like it's just like I Kill knew it. that he was on that shit before he even came on it. Like right. before any credit, they like, knew this sounds like a Ty Dolla. <laughs> he just came on. Yeah. Like, okay, right? Yeah, man. He... I wonder if Mustard made that beat. Probably did. Absolutely. Mustard on the beat, ho. That's a sick Did you know that his real name is Dijon? Dijon, yeah, yeah, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, bro. That's beautiful. And they have a kid. Why I not? I forgot the name of their kid, but it's something goofy, too. Yeah. Is it? Yeah. It's Hun- honey, goofy. Honey Dijon? You got any homies <laughs> named Dijon? Hell no. <laughs> Delicious. Think I'll be chill with mustard. <laughs> I hate mustard. And that's the homie Mayo. Right there, no. This fool puts mustard in spaghetti. Fuck yeah. Yeah, I heard that. Oh, yeah. Isn't that wild? This podcast. Yeah, that's super fucking wild. Oh, pff, don't knock a T track. Jaka tried it. He said he loved it. Hey, no, nah, I already know it because I don't fuck with mustard. Oh, so okay. I know okay, I will Okay, well, then there you go. That's what it is. If you, if, you, yeah. if you like mustard in any way, trust me. Yeah, I, try I would try it that if I like mustard. Way. I tell everybody, I'm like, look, get your bowl or whatever the fuck you serve. Get a mustard packet. Make a fucking smiley if face. Like, if you don't like mustard, you don't like Mix mayonnaise it all together, either, right? Oh, yeah, this other dude uh, hit us up. He was like, we put mayo in our shit in Sonora yeah, and nah, shit. I was like, nah. God damn, really? The only shit I put in spaghetti is fucking hot sauce. Yeah? Oh, yeah? Hell what about, yeah. you know, what about, uh, what about like, yeah, uh, sometimes hot peppers? Crazy. What about like cheese, yeah. like shredded cheese, garlic, or yeah, like, hell yeah. Parmesan yeah. cheese and shit? Mm. I, I do like. more more uh, shredded cheese than Parmesan. Really? I like the, yeah. I like the, I like the finely grated shit like that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, you know what? I, or, or it depends on where you're at, though, too. It depends on where you're at. If they give it to you hot thing. and they got that fucking one that oh, yeah, comes yeah, out like that in the strings the and shit. Yeah, dude. That's some good I, shit. I want to set my cheese game up. I want some like that funky shit, you know? That stanky-ass oh, okay. foot yeah, cheese? Yeah, because they said it tastes That omelette, dude. Yeah. yeah dude. <laughs> hey. Talking about? Dude. Yeah. I tried some of that shit out in fucking Virginia, right there outside of uh, when we were leaving. When we were leaving. What was I talking about earlier? The fucking... What is it called? The Ville or fucking... Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, uh, one of the triangles. I, I, I remember. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. <laughs> Some high shit. I can't remember. Ville. Marijuana fixed the memory. Anyways, there's this famous store called La Tienda, bro. Like, you can go online and they sell, like, um, cut, like really rare cuts of meat that have been aged for long periods of time, That's as well up. as cheeses, as well as, like, different fruits. Like, it's a very, like, Italian exotic style of fucking, like, uh, yeah. place that you can buy, right? Dude, my sister saw it when we were leaving Williamsburg. That's what it was. Ding, 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 ding. The fucking, you know, the rats met up and shit. Williamsburg, we were leaving there. It's the only place in the fucking world where it's at, bro. It's right outside of Williamsburg. We stopped there. My sister saw it. She was like, oh, my God, that's a fucking... We stopped. We went in there, bro, and it was crazy, dude. They had, like, this fucking, like, the leg of a pig and shit like that that was all fucking aged and looked fucking crazy and almost raw in certain sections. But then they would cut that shit off and get to where the meat was nice and fucking pasteurized and salty as fuck dude. and it was just like mm. that mm. shit that's been aged you know what I'm saying they had all those cheeses there bro we spent like a fucking hour in that place just trying a bunch of different shit we bought a bunch of different little shits to take with us it was dope dude it was like the fanciest foster farms you could ever imagine <laughs> in the world dope. you know what I'm saying it was just dope shit you gotta, you gotta check it out it's called La Tienda you can look at the website right now and like the dates there's these famous ass like chocolate covered dates that are really famous from that store my mom loves them shits. I buy them for her every now and then and shit. La Tienda. La Tienda. But, um, okay, so what was your old school jam? What did you got for the old school? Uh, Sweet Love. Sweet Love? Yeah. Uh, uh, is it Anita Baker? I think it's Anita Baker. Nice. So, okay, <clears throat> I had a question for you, bro. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, there's Anita Baker. Sweet okay. Sweet love, yep. Cool. Dumb. Dumb. Sweet love, Anita Baker. I got to find them shits. I'll have the links in the description and shit. So, uh, how game-changing was it for you, like, going to the Phoenix Conservatory, bro? It was it was a real game changer because they don't teach you how to make music there. Like it's not uh, oh this is how you fucking use like no it's it's basically how to route signal through big ass st- studio consoles and shit mm-hmm. and how to basically like record them and shit. But not only that, it's sound everywhere: video game sound, post production sound, broadcasting fucking like just sound in general right so um like i did some video game sound like we um pretty much replaced sounds in this little video game that some of the students made nice uh we did some foley work on some star wars shit that was pretty fun yeah bro it was it was pretty i've seen a lot of the the snapchats that you would put of the different things you were doing each day it's a bunch of different shit dope dude like like live sounds fucking yeah yeah, big ass consoles and shit shit like that dude like that's dope to be able to say that you got to work on all that shit man so like i definitely recommend it for sure so now that you like have learned that like has it like totally like changed the way you look at how you make beats and shit Absolutely. Yeah. You know, just, just fucking sound in general. Yeah. Like I understand it a lot more and shit. Yeah, for sure. That's dope. I seen you started offering your services for uh, recording now. Yeah. Huh? Yep. I got. Uh, I'm in uh, Create One Eight. This uh, studio downtown Phoenix. Okay. They uh just the studio shit is just like one of many things they do. They do digital marketing, social media, fucking videography, photography, a bunch of other shit too. Nice. So Yeah, it's a cool little spot. Fuck yeah. yeah. So how much how, how much would like you charge somebody for like a session to like like to go in and record? Uh probably like twenty, twenty five bucks an hour. That's not bad. Yeah, that's it's not, not bad, bad at all. Oh, and shit. it sounds really good too. Fuck yeah. yeah I'll be putting some shit out uh shit, hopefully by uh the end of the month pretty much. If not, probably early June. Right. But yeah. What was the what was the Doctor Doom thing you just you just did? Oh Is yeah, what it was, the, was it Doctor uh, Doom? MF Doom. MF Doom, yeah. 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 Doctor Doom. I mean, <laughs> that's my shit. I'm you weren't that far away. <laughs> I uh, do you hey. charge for like someone to send you stems to master it. Uh, I don't really like doing that. Okay. If you'd if rather it's record like, yourself, yeah, I'd rather you come if you can. Yeah. But I could, I could, I could do that. Probably same price, twenty five, twenty bucks an hour. Yeah. They'd be like, yeah, that's kind of what I was doing too for like a couple, couple people that I've like. Uh, recorded um, podcast for and shit like that. Just send me the fucking the waves and I'll like kind of clean them up and shit and just right. you know, do what, what I can. What speakers are you listening your playback to? I when when I'm at the studio is uh, Yamaha HS8s, but okay. I have some uh, KRK Rocket Eights at my house. Yeah. Decent, clean. Yeah, for sure. Fuck yeah. You use a subwoofer? No, I don't. I don't need one with the uh, the eights. Yeah. The eights thump loud enough. Yeah, hell yeah. They uh they have a little better low end than the HS eights actually. Oh shit. But um yeah the HS eights are like all around better though for sure. So do you do you do you have like a like a number on how many beats you think you've made to this day? Uh, like completed full beats to this day. Yeah. Um. Shit. A few hundred for sure. I, I want to say at least like two, three hundred. Nice. That are like like full complete beats. Because right. I have a bunch of shit that I start and just never go back to it. I don't yeah, know. that was my biggest problem when I started making music. Yeah, I could never finish a beat. Yeah, that shit happens. And so and so we 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 talked about it with uh with with Jaka. That was when you guys met. Was back in high school, right? Yeah. You guys went to Desertville? Yeah. Yeah. What he failed to mention is that when, when, uh, so I met his brother before I met Jocka because okay. his brother was going to the Desertview when I was there and shit. And, uh, I was actually rapping in high school and shit, doing my little thing. And then he always used to tell me, oh, wait till my brother get out here. His brother gets out here. And, uh, me and Jocka battled a couple of times. And I aged his ass. I ate him. <laughs> I, I fucking ate Chaka. Ate him up. I ate you up, Chaka. Damn. He'll, he'll admit burr, that burr, to burr. you. But um, yeah, and then I was like, all right, you're dope, whatever. Shots and then fired. We started uh DJ Century all delayed over there. <laughs> right. <laughs> Shit, well, you brought that num num juice, dog. <laughs> yeah, you what do you expect? You know, I'm slow poke Rodriguez right now, dog. <laughs> you're eating the bird seed. Shout out to Cindy. Thank you. That shit was awesome. 
Brought it all the way back from Peru. How many uh, podcasts you got out there where they be bringing you shit from other countries? Right. Damn. Huh. Hood know. diner, baby. <laughs> yeah, she hooked it up, man. But um, yeah, what the fuck was you talking about? What the oh, fuck yeah. was you talking about? We were just uh, talking about Jocker. the number, like, the, oh yeah, Jocko. Uh, so uh, yeah, we were. Uh, so I left high school, but I still wanted to fuck with him musically because he was dope. And then that's when uh, we started doing the new future shit. Did you know uh, Andre Keeb, Andre McKay, light skin kind of big dude? No. He was a desert view, but um, he was in it. Jairus, did you know... Um, you know Don Fuentes? Don Fuentes. He went to Desert View, yeah, player. Yeah, football. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my homie. cousin. For real, really? Yeah. Yeah, Don's cool. He just got his master's in um, music. Damn, really? I know he was a teacher He's making and beats and shit now. Yeah, he showed Look me a couple. Look on Facebook, bro. Like, yeah, yeah I'm his friend on Facebook. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I know Don. We went to uh, the same high school. It's crazy, bro. Like, class. Everybody that I know got something going on. Yeah. You know? no, that's good. I'm, I'm glad. You know? Right. Yeah, for sure. For like sure. this dude, he has the music thing, you know, when he decides to dust the mic off and do it, you know? Right. Yeah, we've, we've, yeah, we, we've had a couple, we had a song. Okay. Yeah. We've worked Me, on him, shit. and Cash Lansky. It was a big deal. Yeah, the big deal. <laughs> that was, uh, that was Chepe's uh, jam of the week. Yeah. But since it's not on like uh, iTunes or anything, I put like just the YouTube uh, link. The it's YouTube not? link. Nah, it's not. Simplicity's not on. on uh, why the fuck? Why is it? I have no idea. Cash Lansky. Maybe there's a couple Why samples they couldn't get cleared or hey, something doesn't like that. Uh, <laughs> Cash got a song with uh, Old Boy from, uh, God damn, what's the motherfucker's name? Freddie Gibbs. Freddie Gibbs. I, I mean, he put that out there. Yeah, I, I guess there is one. I want to hear it if, if so. Definitely. Definitely. You saw that, right? Yeah, I, I I hit him up. I was like, damn, for real? I mean, he, he said there's one out there. I believe him. That's Fuck dope. Yeah. I want to hear that shit. Gibbs is dope. Yeah, I fuck with Freddie Gibbs, dude. Yep. It was dope. That's and that's kind of what I've loved about the whole uh, the something new. Like every week, it kind of forces me to try to find new music. You know what I'm saying? And right. because of this, I don't remember how I landed on Freddie Gibbs, but I landed on a fucking Freddie Gibbs song. And I was like, what the fuck? I was like, fuck out of here. This dude. Listen to a bunch of his other shit, bro. Yeah, I got a nice little Freddie Gibbs playlist now and shit, man. He's got some dope shit. Yeah, he's dope. And uh, let me see. So okay. So, yeah, man, I have to say uh, for, you know, tonight's uh, trial run of 808's Ace, bro, I'd say it was a success. For sure. That shit was I, loud. Uh, yeah. I appreciate you. I appreciate <laughs> you coming through and, uh, you know, sharing that experience the wow with factor us, dude. Was yeah, there. dude. And I look forward to, like, doing it. So how are you going to, like, are you, is it just going to be, are you going to do any video for it? Or are you going to do yeah, any, for like, sure. uh, that would be that would be kind of dope to see something like that. I know you can't really do it on. I mean, you can't show the actual smoking on YouTube. Is from what I've been yeah, reading. Yeah, yeah, I haven't. Uh, in like their even in my reviews, shit. I don't actually. Yeah, right, 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 right. Anything. Tonight, I was just like all fucking free for all and shit. Like, look at this dude. <laughs> it's all edited. good. Yeah. It's all good though. Yeah, it's all edited out. And shit like that. We'll just put the big old like the. F- what do you call it? Fuzzy. The, the fuzzy filter and shit. It's all. <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. Just do that shit, yeah, that man. That shit was good. I gave it that kosher kush. But I fucking, uh, yeah, I look forward to checking them shits out, bro. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. So, okay. like, how, how are you going to rate the shit? How are you going to So, do I do a uh, best out of 10. Best out of but, 10. But I think I might cut that down. I don't know. But right best now, it, it's, it's a, yeah. But it's out of 10 right now. But, so, um, for, for an Indica hybrid, how was it? How for was for it this you? kosher kush, I'll, I'll for sure give it a 9 out of 10. For yeah, sure. It was good. Yeah, it was, it, it yeah, was, it was very good. nice. It was mellow. Sure. This dude's almost out, man. I'm yeah, bro. Heavy as <laughs> I'm rolling right now. <laughs> he rolling into bed, bro. Riders on the storm. That's how I feel right now. <laughs> <laughs> Mimi's in my bed. Yeah, like, like John Travolta. <laughs> when he's driving in the fucking convertible after he shoots up. Oh, that, that wasn't oh, yeah. right. <laughs> that was do 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 He's like... Yeah, it's fucking mobbing to that fucking music like yeah, it's crazy though. Yeah, Dan, that yeah, was a great man. movie too. This Choco, Choco. the mountains of Germany. What does he say about the heroin? Yeah, yeah, I'm fucking madman right there. So I always ask, I always ask everybody, bro, what's like, what's like the five year plan, dude? Like, where do you want to see yourself in like five years from now? In five years, well, shit, my man, my five year plan changed so many fucking times, but in five years. I'm going to be in Phoenix doing what I'm doing now, but on a bigger scale, really. Yeah. Yeah. 
for nice. sure. Yeah, if it was, oh, I'm gonna go to LA and but honestly, nah. I'm, I'm, we've out, we've asked that question, bro, and a lot more people are saying the same shit. We always ask, do you think you can make it from from a place like Tucson, or do you need to move like to like a central hub type shit? Right. And more and more people are, have been like, you know, I mean, there's definitely a few people like Marley B say he's gonna move out to LA. You know, I think he said he's gonna go out there. And John, did Johnny Red move to LA? Yeah, he's 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 uh, back and forth. Is he? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because I've seen, I seen him out in L.A. and shit like that. that was, it was funny because the one that I was telling you about, the, the day I had um, one of the, the new schoolboy Q ones, mm-hmm. that same day, my old school was because I was watching his fucking, uh, one of his, uh, I think, Instagram stories, and he was dancing to fucking How to Survive in South Central by Ice Cube and shit. Oh, yeah. He was like, How to Survive in South Central. He was getting it in. I was fucking dying laughing. I was like, dude, that's my old school for the night, dude. So, yeah. Shout out to Johnny Red, man. Mm-hmm. And, um, okay, so... So okay, so then in five years you're still gonna you know be producing music and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Anything. Yeah, I'm Definitely. gonna be dropping some shit this summer. That's it's it's I'm I'm excited to drop it. I got some shit for sure. You get like a little website going and shit. Do you have a place uh, where you sell your beats right now? Uh, not necessarily. I usually do my shit on like a private sale type shit, mm-hmm. but um, you can just see some shit on SoundCloud, Bandcamp. Yeah. I know you got some of the B tapes on there and shit yeah. like that too. Yeah. Fuck yeah! So sure. okay, so if you're if that's what you're gonna continue doing, bro, what would be a dream collaboration for you? Uh ah shit, that's changed a few times too, but um, a dream collaboration as far as like rapper, I'd probably say, hmm, fuck, I don't want to be cliche. Oh, Kendrick, uh, uh, probably Jay Z, uh, but um. It would it would probably be it, it probably might be Kendrick actually yeah yeah maybe that'd be nice or Schoolboy I actually I could, have see, this, I could see that I have this sick ass I'm gonna let you hear it it's this sick ass remix I did of the Schoolboy Q song okay it's fucking dope fuck yeah, yeah I'm not you do like re-edit <clears throat> I took the acapella and put a different beat on it yeah it's fucking dope that's nice I but used yeah, to love probably, doing that with like uh, one of those guys. I'm fucking acid DJ. I used to love finding acapellas and finding different instrumentals yeah. to put up behind them and shit. Mashups. Oh yeah, I used to love. It. Yeah, there you go. Fucking yeah, mashups. mashups are fun. Fucking yeah. love that shit, dude. Yeah, I want to so, start DJing actually. Yeah, Jaka started fucking DJing. He was talking yeah. about that shit. He, Him and this dude were having some 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 go back and forth yeah, and shit about some, like some different gear to, models gear and shit. I'm like, God shot. damn, look at you. I'm about to buy these things called the Phase. They look like USB sticks. Oh yeah. Put them on the turntables and they're fucking. You can work. You can literally but, yeah. get the record and, and spin it like this, and it'll fucking move. Like, it'll play. You can turn around in a circle, and it'll play the song. That's futuristic. That's crazy, dog. So, yeah, they're more efficient. So, I don't know. I've been DJing for so long, bro. I'm just looking for the next. Yeah. Yeah, thing. I was just about to say, like, at, at that point. It's tight rocking the turntables, though. Yeah. I got you, some. like a certain aesthetic, you know. Did you see me Absolutely. sharing my little thing today? That was funny yeah. because I was thinking about that and I was like, I had to find this little party, dude, where I got to fucking DJ the party there at the event center shit. They were like, Man, we'll give you some money if you fucking DJ and shit. We don't really have a lot, but I was like, I'll fucking do it. Fuck right, yeah. yeah. I was up there rocking. <laughs> What'd you end up making? Huh? What'd you end up making? Like one fifty. Dude, that's, oh, that's good dope. For, for, <laughs> I mean, it was cool. It was last minute shit. For something you didn't even expect. How many hours? Oh, I was like, well, like four. Yeah. Yeah, that's dope. And I had like yeah, half more than that. Bro. And then like half of it fucking you gotta, you gotta, you gotta <laughs> that's a good starting point though. That's a really good starting point. You know, there's a point where we're doing like whole parties for like a hundred bucks. Mm. You know? So to come from that to where I'm at now, it's it was a journey, you know. Yeah, for sure. Just like Wait, so, so so when do you start on one oh six three? Soon. Soon? Oh, Some other shit in the mix that I can't talk about on the mic right now. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna be doing a mix show on 1063 The Groove. That's fucking dope, man. Right? Yeah. That's what I was like. That's yeah, I was hard work. soon. But there's another thing in the mix right now that if that happens, my Sunday nights are gonna be popping for the summer. Fuck yeah. Like, it's gonna be like free entrance tickets to people that I know to mm-hmm. a, an event that's gonna be uh, on the radio for one, which terrestrial radio is not what it used to be, mm-hmm. but it's still a driving force. Like, you go get your dentist appointments, your doctor's appointments, they have the radio on in the lobby, you know? Right. So, the information travels, but it's just, um, 
if that opportunity comes my way. Hey, man. Shout out good to you, time. dog. That's some good I'll, shit. I'll tell you right now what it is. That's some good <laughs> shit, bro. That's some, that's some definitely good shit. the thing shit. up, I'll, I'll tell you what it is. But Yeah, no doubt, man. They, they say the harder you work, the luckier you get. Yeah. Dang. You know what? I heard something about luck today. They said it's not luck when you've put the hours of work in. Mm. You know, you just increase your chances of succeeding, right? By putting all that, it's there's no there's no such thing as luck. Luck is like winning the lottery, right? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> like for you, if you were to get a fucking job with, I don't know, Capitol Records, Geffen Records, whatever, as an engineer, mm. it's not just because you're like you hit the lottery. Well, essentially, you hit the lottery, but you did the ba- the steps, you did the right, the, the groundwork, the, the groundwork to, the to get certified, all that shit, mm-hmm. and. That was in luck. You fucking sacrificed a lot, I bet. Right. Absolutely. And I bet you're still going to have to sacrifice moving forward. Mm-hmm. So, I, you know, luck, you make your own luck. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's that's how I feel. So, it's just me being 100 with everybody. That's why I got networking experiences, and that's how I got in the situation with 106.3. Right. So, yeah, man. That's a fucking... I'm, I'm excited. A yeah. real man makes his own luck. Billy Zane. Zane. Oh, Titanic. Okay. Right. <laughs> Right, true. Have you ever Fuck seen those is. fucking memes? Did you just assume my gender? Yeah. <laughs> Did you see that shit? Yeah. Yeah, man. That shit was, dude, that was comical. I was telling this, I was telling this dude, I was telling Jock too that I made a fucking uh I remember for a while, bro, like ever since I saw the episode where Dwight shed, said fucking perfect and schlag. Yeah. I'd never seen a fucking meme that literally said the word right. while he said it. So I fucking made one, bro. That shit's been downloaded like over 10,000 times, Yeah, for bro. real. I wouldn't yeah. doubt it, bro. That shit, <laughs> fucking yeah. perfecting schlag, dude. So I crack up. He was like, like he was like that, schlag. bro? I'm like, fucking meme god over <laughs> here, bro. He's a meme god, bro. 10G, 10 He's stack, 10K god. on my downloads. 10K on, the on my memes. Schlag. What's up? Right there, buddy. Oh, yeah, I mean. King of retweets. But, uh, so yeah, man, we like to end the fucking show, as you know, with the island question, bro. Mm. This is just to like you know like see what it is that you love in these four little situations here. You're on the so this island. Is a, this is until you die. Yeah. Okay. These what, yeah. These questions this is until you die. Me. So you're all alone so on what an kind island. Of island. Are you on right now? Are you on like a fucking? Because you're gonna die at it. I mean, I would imagine it being like just I'm a deserted ass paradise Hot as island. Fuck. No, I mean average, average. It's Where's not like the storms are against you and anything like that. This is just, you're literally just running out the clock. Baking under the sun. Running. Well, yeah, you're probably baking. So, I mean, obviously, you got to do some. We should, like, mm. we should put a square footage on the island. Because <laughs> if it's like How a little is bitch island? ass island, like fucking like a 20 or by 20. Hawaii? Question Did my shoes come off in the plane crash? <laughs> He's like, well, then I would not take food. I would take, uh, I would take a knife and fucking well, iodine island. tablets. It's not a very yes. big island. <laughs> a NASA blanket. He said that shit. He said that. One of those shit. border blankets. Oh man, dude, uh, yeah. fucking Dwight, bro. I fucking that, that's, that, that's what I would take. That's so that fucking... tinfoil does keep you warm. I would imagine. I, I, mean, I mean, yeah, fucking, I would too. A fucking know, NASA blanket. Yeah, I mean, it's it's shit. fucking NASA. It's equipped. Right. I'm, I'm sure. So, yeah. okay. So you're all alone on this island, bro. And you only get to take one book, one album, one movie, and one food for the rest of your life. What are they? All right. Um, I'm not really huge on books. I Me mean, the, the fuck a book. Obviously, you Maybe. know, I bought DJ Khaled's book and I didn't read it. Yeah, right. <laughs> right. Um, Maybe like a book. You know, you know what nobody's never said? Probably hilarious as fuck. Uh, How to Survive on a Desert Island book. God Yeah, damn. I mean. Yeah. Right? You I, imagine? Well, like, thanks. That I'll was what take it was that. Right there. Or it's like you surviving on islands for idiots or something. There you go. Shit. <laughs> yeah. For dummies. Uh, that. Right there, dude. So which, one, uh, one, um, one album. Album, album. What can I just listen to repeatedly? Um, no, I'll, I'll skip that shit. Um, damn, just straight through. Uh, there's so much. Um, I probably. Pro- well, yeah, yeah, it'll probably be uh, Kendrick's. Uh, which what was the last album? Damn. Yeah, yeah. I Damn can, was a good album. Yeah, Pimp That's Butterfly the, uh, was good too. Yeah. yeah, that was good too. But I can, I can. There's, there's a couple I can skip in, on that album though. Yeah, I, I feel like Damn, I can just. Good just, Kid, Mad City, you can play all the way through. True. You can. True, but you Damn, can. I think Damn was one like the one I really remember, like just fucking letting it rock. Yeah. And All then the when through. they came out with the deluxe, that was the album backwards. We just 
still fucking perfect. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I'd probably take that for sure. <sighs> yeah. yeah. Okay. So one movie. Movie. Uh, see, because that's like, I don't know. It, it, well, I, it would probably be Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber? Yeah. I mean, technically, if you wanted to say, like, we've given people the, <laughs> the leniency <laughs> to say. Bro, that, watching that movie as an adult, that shit is funny every other line, bro. Yeah. Like, it. Everything's great. <laughs> Everything's <laughs> great. My favorite shit. part is when they fuck someone with the X-Lax, these other toilet, like, fucking dying. <laughs> yeah. Because I've been there before. Yeah. Not, not well, sabotage not that the, like that. Yeah, okay. But, like. Really fucking giving the, that person a pound each. Yeah, you know what I'm saying when you just take a, you get naked by the end of it. It's like you're you like this is a shower. shower after. Yeah. This is a shower. <laughs> like, shit, you can't even leave the bathroom. No, you just hear the shower come out. Like oh, that's well, something so bad you got to get a fucking matchbook and you got to light a match and for the sulfur and shit. You know what I'm saying? Right. But yeah, Dumb and Dumber for sure. Because like, see, this that where, shit I just, feel like the movie should you should be allowed if you wanted to take like a series too. Cause like if somebody well, like, I'm gonna take, 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 take the whole Harry Potter. I'm gonna take the fucking a. I'll take the Harry Potter. Take the Office. I'll take the whole Game of Thrones. You know what I'm saying? I'll take the Game of Thrones Drogon kit. <laughs> the Drogon kit. I'll take the Drogon you know what kit. Come out with? I mean, I'm pr- I wouldn't doubt it. Why the fuck wouldn't they? It'd be stupid as fuck to not the giant capitalize on that. Funko Pop, right. the zombie giant. Yeah. It's six inches. I think those are what like four. Yeah, those are the four. Wow, inches. really? Or like it's three, like six inches. Yeah, the six inches. There's That's always good. like different. Like like when I always use it when when Ghostbusters came out, they did a Stay Puft Marshmallow Man all big like that. Oh, okay. When uh, they did um, the newest like Jurassic Park, and they made like the dude, the Owen dude, and then the chick, they made like a Tyrannosaurus that was bigger mm-hmm. like that, and then they made the Raptors smaller and shit like that. So they were yeah, they're dope, dude. That's fucking crazy, fucking pops. Okay, so so the one movie was Dumb and Dumber. That, yeah, for somebody sure. else has said that one too. Are you yeah, going great, to the air? It's a great fucking movie. Were you going to the airport? Flying somewhere? <laughs> like, like, <laughs> that shit is so funny from beginning to end to me. It when is. He gets his heart broken. That was fucking hilarious. The way he falls, he's like, <laughs> yeah, that shit is funny. Fuck yeah, man. Fucking Dumb and Dumber for sure. I mean, that, yeah, that, that'd be a comedy. I was comedy. robbed by a sweet old lady in a cart. <laughs> That shit's so fucked up. Our Big pets' go, heads huh? are falling off. <laughs> All right, <laughs> pretty bird, pretty bird. I just thought he was quiet. Yeah. He's all. Dumb. He's all great, great. How would you taste your burger? <laughs> How's your burger? I can't fucking ask him shit, dude. They, they couldn't have timed that better. He was so about to kill fucking both of them, dude. That shit's funny, man. Did you say when he, food? When he landed on the ground and then the way they fucking pointed at him and fucking <laughs> laughed, dude. Come on, buddy. It was just a joke. I'm, I'm interested to see it's what food that you would take. Food? Yeah, what the food you would take. Couscous. Just kidding. Wow. Mm. <laughs> the food's so nice, they named it twice. Uh, uh, Food? Probably tacos. Yeah? Yeah. Specific no, tacos, any specific tacos? Uh, just be like fucking ver- 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 variety Probably pack. Both. Yeah, I need some variety. crunch and yeah. you know some like street tacos. Yeah, yo, cool. those crunchy tacos from Taco Bell aren't that bad. Yeah, when they're like good, fresh, well, crunchy. Right when they make them, right when you get to the window. Yep. If you wait another second, <laughs> not good. <laughs> The minute they turn soggy, they go yeah. mush. When yeah. it goes mush, it automatically becomes a jack in the box taco. But, yeah, I'm you gotta get crunchy. You, bro. Hey, don't you dare. Hey, hey, hey you don't know you a jack dare. in the box taco is mush, bro. Dude, Straight mush. I mean, it's good. Barbecue sauce and you dip the taco in it. Ugh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's the first. Forget what the it, fuck? Dog. See, yeah, yeah, that's nasty right yeah, there. Try it. While you try the mustard and the spaghetti and let me know. Next week, I'm going to get a big ass thing of fucking spaghetti here. I don't have fucking tacos with barbecue sauce. Let's do it. I'm I'm fucking that jack and a crack. And I bet you it's probably good. Of course, it's good. I love barbecue sauce. Why wouldn't I like a taco and barbecue sauce? But it's just weird. Yeah, you know I hear just, that. I hear so that. that's why you how you feel but about the mustard in the high spaghetti. Fuck sometimes. Yeah, <laughs> and I'm telling sometimes you, you don't have the right condiments. That's taco true. sauce. Sometimes you don't get an extra taco you're sauce. You fucking love true. that shit. I so. love it when they put it in the taco for you. Yeah, right, right, right. I was like, okay, give me the solid. Right. Yep. Most of the time, I don't even be using the chili either because I'd be having chili at the house. Yeah. Oh yeah. Just be rocking the house chili awesome. on whatever food I'd be getting. What's the what's the house chili? Like a like a special like a habanero one. Okay. Do you make it? Yeah. Nice. You know what I've been getting a lot? Well, my dad's been making it, but we bought some the other day. Uh, it's like guacamole salsa. 
Okay. Like where it's made out of avocado, avocado and they put yeah. like a like a serrano in and mix that shit up. It's literally like three fucking ingredients, bro. You know what I'm saying? No added cream, nothing like that. Yeah. Right. And uh, dude, he's been making it and shit. I've been telling my dad, bro, because my dad can make my grandpa salsa, like, and it tastes just fire. I've been yeah. telling him we're gonna bottle it and start selling that shit. So that's a new, that's another venture. Like I'm trying to tell my family, I'm like, look, my sister's making them soaps and shit. I'm like, let's make you a website. My dad, I want him to start pushing the fucking salsa and shit like that. My little sisters are both doing like makeup and shit. I want them to start their own channel and shit, dude. Like I'm trying to push like my whole family to fucking like just better themselves Monetize. in any way, you know? Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? Like fucking got to do that shit, but uh. But yeah, man, tell the folks where you can, where they can find you, bro. Like, okay, so you got your own shit, and the eight hundred eight Ace has its own uh, Instagram, right? Yep. And that's exactly. But tell them how they spell it, how to spell it. So again, it's the number eight, and then O H E I G H T, buddy. Yep. Eights. Right there, eight hundred eight Ace yep. and eight hundred eight on uh, Instagram. Uh, and Instagram shit. and Twitter. It's uh, at it's eight hundred eight. Okay. But uh, yeah, just check me out. You can just Google 808 and all that shit is there. Fuck yeah. Up. yeah. Fuck yeah. Well, dude, uh, this fool, I think we got a DJ Century ready for memes and shit, Yo, man. Yo, I'm He's not going to fucking... lie to you. I'm fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> Disqualified. It's, it's, it's on his face. Strong as fuck. <laughs> so nice. You don't got to go nowhere. Oh, I know it. I know it. He just walks I gotta go, I gotta go clean the shop right now. Damn, for real? <laughs> fuck yeah. Damn. <laughs> Go knock that out. It takes like an hour. Dog. I'll be there like till like I'll be there. I'll be done this shit, man. It's, right. it's, it ain't no thing, dude. I've done this shit millions of times. Yeah. But uh yeah, man, dude, bro. Thank you so much for fucking stopping by, you know, yeah, for man. coming Thanks down for and shit. Me. And we were able to take advantage of the fact that you were down in town and shit, man. And uh yep. yeah, bro. Thank it's you so much. It's funny hearing Joe say, I know 808. Yeah. Yeah, I know that guy. I started laughing. Like I said, it started with Chep and shit, and Joe started telling me the story. He was like, Yeah, I was in a group with with uh, 808 and with fucking Jaka, Joe like, had some bars. He's like, I had to battle Jaka. He, he I don't think he ever recorded anything. No, I don't think so either. Yeah. Shout out to Joe, man. Yeah, but it, yeah, but I mean, it was cool, bro. It went from you know him saying Shout he knows Jaka, future. and then boom, it was just it's just been a nice HRG reunion lately. You know, yeah. what I'm saying? did you so. know Henry? M O three. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Yep. Dog, I'm telling you, man. Yeah, like, that's crazy. We know everybody the same fucking people. Like, mm-hmm. I'm so jealous of how hard you guys just broed out right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> My man. Sometimes it bees like that. Nah, dude, that's all good. Dude, no, that's dope. Like that that's dope, bro. Because like I said, man, like, I mean, I've known him for a minute. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. fucking, it's cool that you guys, it, This, you know what I'm saying? It's just a trip that we never ran into each other. Right. Fucking man. Yeah, but, and I heard about Cheeky all the time. I'm well, like, I mean, I need to see this guy. You know what was dope, like, though? Oh. I had my friend, well, Josh Penny. Yeah. He was at Cobra Arcade. Yeah. Downtown. Well, they have one in Phoenix downtown. They do. It's way smaller than the one here. I, bro, I've, I didn't even know what to expect. I thought Cobra Arcade. All right, cool, Arcade. And then I walk in, and it's just like fucking high five with video games. Right, I don't right. like that shit. Like me either, bro. I hated it. You know what, though? Tucson uh, Cobra is way better. You can yeah, actually it's bigger. chill. Yeah. If you want to chill, it's not like fight to get a drink for 30 right. minutes. I'm pissed. Know? I heard that they had Killer Instinct in there for a little bit, and they then do? they took that oh, shit out. took it out, yeah. Yeah, I was Did pissed, they really? rotate. Oh, yeah, rotate. Yeah, bro. Man. See, I was, was going to go so there just for that, too. I, I came just for that, and I, they, that shit was gone. See, I, I so DJ there. Yeah. Did you DJ when they had it there? Yeah, I played it. Damn. I would have fucked I you I love up. killing time over there, dog. Like, waiting for Congress to pop off, that's a perfect place to start the night. Right. And then when I'm DJing there, usually I got people there to like two in the morning. Yeah. Yeah, just dancing the whole time. I still Yeah, like I wanna play video games. Yeah, well I'm gonna go like, dance like, and shit. Like, be like, all right, cool, I'll be over here. No, that's a, that's mean, a good spot there. Dude, I got yeah, fucking, I mean I get it. You know what I, I mean? I, I got chicks dancing all night. So I mean, that's the goal as a DJ, you know? Right. I just wish it caught on like harder. Cause it's just now in Tucson it's a different scene. There's not a bunch of popping places anymore. You got a handful there of places isn't. that are popping, and the rest is a ghost town, you know? And a lot of the places don't really play, like, hip-hop. Hip-hop, hip-hop, hip-hop. hip-hop right. Have you been, like, going out to places up there in Phoenix? Uh, bro, I'm 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 too low-key for a lot of that shit. Yeah. I've, I've hit up a lot of dive bars, but I don't go to, like, International and El Jefe and all that shit. Like, that's not my scene, really. Yeah. And, uh... $10 beer night? Yeah, like, get the fuck out of here. I don't even drink beer, but... 
Yeah, no, nah, that's not my scene. Like I, I haven't even been to Hi Fi here. Oh, me neither. I yeah. like. What else is what I've else seen is it. like? I mean, I've never walked by it, but yeah, you, that never I've been, been there. Like, Congress is the shit. Yeah, I have to. I fucking I love Congress. Con- I mean, Congress is king, bro. Yeah. Like out of all the places I've ever spun, like that was the that's your favorite one. place. Yeah, for sure. Outside or inside? Been fun. I've DJed both, and inside is probably better. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. That's what's up. Fucking Congress, bro. That's been fun. That's been, that's been a fun place. You big You've been on that Marvel stage many, movies. many fucking times and shit. That shit's fun. You, how would you think of Endgame? I liked it. It didn't seem as long as it was. No, it didn't. It didn't at drag. all. It did not. I was like, damn. There's some Captain America movies that dragged. I already got it pre ordered. I, I, I haven't Soldier. seen I haven't seen Winter Soldier. That one's so good. Really? I need to see. Oh it. man, Winter I, Soldier I who, is the best. I know who Captain Buddy America. was before I even seen Winter Soldier. So I, I want to like, see oh, okay, what cool. he's like in fucking right. Black Panther going forward. Yeah, that should Doctor be. Doctor Strange is coming out. Black Panther's coming out. They call him yeah. the white what do they call him? The white lion or some shit like some that? Shit like that. That's what he called him. He's like the white lion has been asleep for too long. And I think that's why they kind of let him do that. Yeah, I haven't even seen the new that. Spider-Man preview. I need to check that shit out. Oh, it looks good. Yeah, it looks good. Yeah, but Endgame good. was fucking dope. I like how I have they a feeling to go Tony's gonna still shit. talk to him through his like suit. spider suit. Yeah, like he's gonna be like programmed like into him and shit, kind of like Jarvis, right. but it's gonna be Tony. Because remember, be I'm, remember all the different times where like the fucking the thing would show up and shit, and it would be him talking to him, but it was like a yeah. hologram or some shit like that. Yeah, for sure. I bet you he's gonna come out with some shit like that. <laughs> Yeah. But yeah, man, uh, fucking episode 49. Thank you again, bro, for coming down and shit, man. Uh, uh, anything, man? Anything else you want to no. say? Any last words? <laughs> the kosher no, got just, him. Um, yeah, I'm glad I was able to smoke you guys out. And that kosher. Come up here. And, very kosher. You know, or down here, whatever. It's, it's, been, it's been good. Fuck yeah. Good, good time. Good diner. Had a good time. Yeah, cool, man. For sure. Well, shit. Next time you're back in town, we'll go grab some drinks or something, man. I know you said you're not a big yeah. drinker, but yeah, well, I, I no, I said I don't drink beer. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> but I'm not a big drinker though. I, I'm definitely more of a smoker, obviously. Oh, yeah. But I'll burn one. I fuck a crown. Yeah, out. yeah. We for sure. I'm with that. Yeah. Okay. We'll do that, or we'll have to hit you up when we're up in Phoenix or something like that. Yeah, do what that. Part of Phoenix you staying at? Uh, North Phoenix. Okay. You know where Castles and Coasters is? Yeah. Fuck Probably yeah. fucking ten minutes east. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know so exactly it's it's a, to, it's a it's a cool little we neighborhood. We go to Phoenix a lot. Dunlap and Seventh Street area. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yep. So you got like a little Some local bar street. scene right there. Yeah, there's a lot of fucking. Uh, just like yeah, there's a little little strip on well, Seventh Street. That and that's cool too, cause Seventh Street, the whole fucking street, like you can just take it all the way downtown. There's just a bunch of shit. Yeah. All the way down. So I'm a big Sun Devil fan, so going over there is always a good time. Yeah, I actually went to my first uh, Suns game. It was earlier this year. Okay. They played. They played Toronto. I can't remember when that was, but yeah, that shit is dope. Yeah, I definitely go to live sporting events, but I'm, I'm glad that he went like straight from Sun Devils to Suns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was like, uh, you're a Wildcat. No, no, but Tucson. You know what I mean? It's got right comes with place. territory. Yeah. I hear that. I hear that <laughs> for sure. He's a meow. <laughs> 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 what, is, what does Sparky say though? What does he say? He doesn't say nothing. He pokes you with the fucking fork. Yeah. He's like, nee, nee. <laughs> <laughs> That's the noise right there. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck. We I'm gonna I'm so gonna clip that and make that a fucking sound from now on. Every now and then it's gonna be like nee, 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 nee. <laughs> Thank yes. you, thank you for that, bro. We need to buy one of those live pads so where we can program that shit. Yeah, just yeah, no, have one right here. Yeah. All that shit, man. But uh, but yeah, brother, thank you so much again for coming by, dude. Um, yeah, man. you guys make sure you check out his channel, Eight Oh Eight Ace. He's been giving some really dope reviews on some. That's really a hood nice stamp of approval. Yes, definitely, man. And uh, yeah, man. Don't let me don't 49. let me forget my dude wipes. No, no, you got you. Yeah, I got I you there right here. Yes, definitely. I'm gonna Hashtag have to use no mud. But uh, next episode's fifty. We're gonna have to fucking do something crazy. Yeah, I mean, we had an idea of doing like a best of type shit like that, but then we kind of like it. Kind of like it turned into way too much work. Right, right. right. <laughs> we'll figure it out. It's like you know what, dog? Like fifty's kind of tooting our horn too fast. You know what I'm saying? I mean, because you gotta look at it this way: episode fifty would be type to like. I think we should celebrate episode 52 because that's our year. That's a year. 
That's 52 weeks that we fucking have been yeah, at it. Yeah, but 50 is the gold anniversary. Yeah, it's 5-0. I, mean, I, I get that. I mean, so, you guys so, oh, could do, do a best both of, of. We got to do a just, both of them. You two, you guys reflect on your best shits. I mean, 50 episodes is a lot of fucking episodes. That's what I told him, too. I was like, at episode 40, like, I was like, hey, bro, start listening to some old shit. Start yeah. writing it down. <laughs> Nah, Not nothing. <laughs> nothing, dog. I was like, okay, yeah. Me, I mean, I, hey, I'm looking at myself too. I didn't do it either. I didn't do it either. I do have like a few clips that I've saved like throughout the episodes where like there's certain funny shit. Like that one time that he said fucking the illegal Pete's, but he like dragged it out. He's like, I used to DJ at uh, <laughs> Legal Pete's. And then fucking, I started laughing my ass off. And I was like, dude, when I edit this, I'm going to stretch that shit out. And I did. It was all, I used to uh, DJ at uh, Legal Pete's. It was fucking great. So like, yeah, there's like little moments that we already have. But there's like so many more, dude. Like just good shit that's been said throughout the fucking seasons, and like we gotta, yeah, we gotta go back and really like give it more time. So I think that would be like an episode hundred type of thing. I'm with that. You know what I'm, I'm saying? With that. Like so, you know, that because that's a big number right there in itself. That is that's dope. Number. Fifty. We'll probably do some. Maybe we'll reach out to Chef Mondo see if he wants to come through next week, cook up some fucking weed shit. You know what I'm saying? That or we'll see. fucking just cook up some food. Period. Yeah, some right. some, carne, some carne asada, and then we'll fucking celebrate episode yeah. fifty. We'll see. We'll, we'll, we'll see who's gonna be, man. But uh, oh, like like I said, it was good to finally meet you, dog. Yeah. Um, we're gonna keep our ears peeled to like whatever you got going on. Mm-hmm. Support it any way we can and keep it moving. You know, just trying to build with everybody that comes through here. You know, because yeah, you never know when there's a situation where we might need each other's help. You know, and right? Exactly. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, holler at me. But, uh, yeah, this is DJ Century. I am the homie casual. 808. Yeah, man. Peace. Peace. I don't want to knock your bag over. Grumpy cat! Grumpy cat died! For the seat, the grumpy cat. She was a little girl. Did he die? I'm just checking old age or what? Old age, dude. No, 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 I'm sorry. (sighs) Complications due to fucking urinary tract infection. Damn. Yeah, like man. Cat, ETR. Yeah, dude. That's fucking horrible. Yeah, dude. It's not even no animals can have fucking. It's fucking horrible. Yeah. All right, this shit.